Good Sunday morning, people. This is our official <laughs> start. Uh, right. Hello, everyone. How are you? Mary's with us. Say hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> You're just going to make that an every day, every week thing, aren't yeah. you? Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sorry for those of you that don't follow me on social media um, that might have been wondering why I didn't stream yesterday. Uh, I found out, what was it, would it be, I found out Thursday night that uh, actually 30 minutes before I started my shift that my dad had passed. So um, I went on uh, bereavement leave, which is three days, and well... That's it. That's that's the reason. But um, I don't know the reason. My dad lived in California. Um, I know he's been he'd been really sick for like three or four years. Um, and right now, that's all I know. Um, I was told by my brother, but my phone had decided not to give me the message. And I was checking because I had a message from my pharmacy. And I checked the voicemail on it, and I noticed I had a message, a week-old message from my brother. So I find out, like, on the 10th, I think, that my dad died on the 1st. So, but that's the reason. So, anyways, so if I'm, I mean, so if I'm not my 100% self, you'll know why. But still... I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to do the stream yesterday, but I didn't just in case. Because, I mean, you know, when you have a loss, you just don't know, you know, how you're going to react emotionally. So, but I figured this stream I can do because at the very least I'll have Mary with me. So, I'll have someone, someone to talk to for, if for some reason something triggers. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to stream by myself yesterday. So. Anyways, with that out of the way, you ready to get started, Mary? I am. All right. So uh, it's going to be Hunts, Hunts in the Deep with us. And as you'll know, um, if you haven't noticed, um, our characters' um, levels have jumped. And that is because... Um, we both have decided that we just want to show you new content with this pair. Well, excuse me. To start, just new content. Because that's where we're at. We're in the new content area. But because of... Especially for me. For this character, the way I was going to play him, I was going to play him as like an assassin and a thief. But because we decided... Um, well, mostly Mary decided and I agreed with her that um, we just wanted to keep the new content on here. So out of stream, hi Mary. So out of stream, Mary and I went out and we completed the first chapter of the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So that's why our levels have jumped from the last actual stream. And that's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna do the guild stuff as long as we're in Blackwood. As long as we're still playing new content, when it comes to the like the Thieves Guild and other guilds and stuff that we're doing stuff with, we'll do that out of stream. So that way we just keep you with the new content. Once we're out of Blackwood and we're in a different area, then we may go ahead and uh, do that stuff on stream. But more than likely by then we'll probably even. We may even have the storylines completed. Who knows? But anyways, let's see what, what the new reward is. Uh, just experience. Just experience scrolls, so nothing, nothing special. All right, so we are on, what, an unexpected adversary? Yeah, we are on our way to go to Blood Run Cave. All right. Is, it, is that your puppy dog, or is that his? 
That's my puppy dog. That's your puppy dog? That's my puppy dog. That's a that's a puppy dog. He is an alliance war dog. I'm trying to figure out what kind of uh dog he is. Or what kind of dog he he resembles, but he's uh, he's a bull terrier of sorts. Okay, I was gonna say because specific breed, I wouldn't know. Yeah, kind of looks my look. I mean, with that vacant expression and the heavy panting and stuff, kind of looks like my friend Brandon. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he and he's at home right now. And he, as far as I know, he doesn't follow my stream, so he won't even know about that insult until I see him mm -hmm. and tell him about it. So, um, yeah, I I got the Alliance War Dog when I picked up the any Alliance any race um, upgrade. Ah, which gives you a mount and a doggy. Mm. I haven't done that, gotten that one yet. Colors of your race, or colors of your alliance. Okay, uh, shall we head off to Blood Rub? Yeah, let's do it. like there is something to discover along the way. There is a hood oh, of chest ahead. Yeah. Uh, what does that say? Salvito Estate. I'm just going to follow... Oh, I was going to say I was going to follow it up here, but it doesn't look like it's going to end up... No, nope, we uh, missed the turn. It actually has a road. Uh, that's the turn we'll be going up to, but the... I know. I was, look I was looking for the turn to end up at the uh where oh, you are discovered yeah i was gonna do it i was gonna do it by by the road but wow it's yep i i'm back, I'm back on the road whoa bad guys bad guys yep. Emonies. Emonies. holy shit they were screwing around. <laughs> Good God, did you see that AOE? No, when I, I oh AOE my God, that thing was huge. I wonder if there's any more. I've got to see if, if uh, there, there's, there's another one on the way out. Well, that was two, so I that may have been a co uh, combination of two of those spells. Come on, do it. Oh, you're an art. Oh, uh, you're an archer, so you're not gonna not gonna do it. But God, I mean that AOE. See this area right here? How it's kind of a almost kind of a circle. You know, all around yeah. here, that AOE filled that would fill this entire area of just rising flames. A similar sort of size as my healing one. Yeah, and I think both of those guys had dropped it at the same time because it looked like the. I mean, I was just kind of awestruck, but it almost kind of looked like it was overlapped a little bit. But I could be wrong. But still, it was freaking huge. I've never seen. A fire AOE spell do that. So I'm actually uh, gonna. Where did you go? I'm what well, through okay. the, through the front of the gate. I'm I'm just wanting to see if I can get that to happen again. Are you coming? Are you coming in? I am. Okay, I want to wait for you because I saw a couple of them and I want to. I'm just gonna run right out in the middle of them. I mean, I'm not gonna try to attack them first because I just want to see if they're going to do that thing. Yeah, look oh, at that! Yeah. Look at that! That's huge. <laughs> and look at their fire doggy. I mean, the fire doggy's pretty cool. I'm getting... 
feet on. I know I kind of asked for this, but still. Look at that doggy. A flame hound. That was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, but wasn't that a huge uh, AoE? Be, um, this is possibly somewhere we need to come later on. Yeah, I would imagine. But wasn't that a huge AoE? Yeah. It was impressive looking, too. Dang. That must have been you yelling. No, that was him. Uh, it sounded female. Really? It might be me. If, uh, I mean, it sounded like a... Like if a, if a female warrior was doing a battle cry, you know how her voice will get a little bit kind of deeper and a little kind of gravelly? That's what it sounded uh -huh. like. It sounded like if a if a if a female was uh, straining her voice in a ba like doing a battle yell. Where are we going, uh, anyways? I was just going. I, uh, I was just following the road. <laughs> yep. Get to the road, and you want to be following the fork. That I was just leads to the north. I was just kind of following you, and then you just kind of ran off. Yeah, I got someone on my tail. I think I've lost him. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so funny when she do <laughs> when she does that. I don't know why. I just find it humorous. It's like she's trying to be sassy. I can't think of Iron any... Ore. Iron ore what? Iron ore. <laughs> need to get. Oh, I remember, I don't I don't have keen eye on anything yet, so it, nothing stands out. I apparently just naturally have keen eye. <laughs> I guess. Yes? Let's just stop him to admire the scenery. There's a quest giver ahead. She stops what? to admire the scenery, and the first thing I see when you say that is a blood red lake. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, I, I see a quest giver. What, you gonna go see the lake I was talking about? Yeah, it didn't look red when I was looking at it. It does now. Yeah, uh, um, I don't know what color it is when you get right on top of it, but yeah, from the road it looks blood red, and then it gets a little bit lighter as you get closer. Oh, what's this? Come one, come all. Uh-oh. Warm your soul with delight and daring. Watch the spectacle of the dance. Let the house of reveries take you to a world of dreams. Find our fire south of Farmer's Nook. Okay. Okay. That's not um, too far away. I was going to say, do you want to go and uh, attack a Hajmoda? Well, I was thinking of it, but when I scrolled over it, apparently there was a frog in the way, because all I saw was frog. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> that's not a frog! <laughs> that's... Really not a frog. <laughs> that is um, a runestone over there, though. Give me two seconds to get the runestone. Okay. Ah, I have a crocodile on me. What? Oh God, no! Don't! No! 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 I heard the voice. Oh wait, or maybe it's that woman on the road. I thought, That's please, I, I was thinking, please don't let it be that annoying fan or whatever he's called. Whoa! It is. Shit. <laughs> it is. Who's there? Oh, 
sorry, Froggy. Where is the pain in the ass? One second, just getting another red star. Is that one of those? He is up here. Or he was. He was Who's literally this? where that woman is. I'm gonna click on her and see what her deal is. Rosalind. Uh, don't let that one take more than his share. I don't care if he has to go a long way to get to the treasure, he's not getting another bite. Uh, t tell me about the squirrels' treasure. I knew that would get your attention. I'm not the sort of woman who would lie, you know. Can't tell you where it is, not with all these little ones running around. They don't want it to be too easy for you. I can give you a hint, though. Uh. <laughs> what? This is just weird. Um, yeah. is there a landmark? There's a rock nearby. Look, I never said the hints would be helpful. Why are you sharing this with me? I'm tired of the squirrel's annoying chatter. Still, these little creatures have been my loyal companions for a long time. I can tell. I'd like to see someone else grow to respect their usefulness like I have. You could definitely tell she's been talking to them for a long time. Yeah. She's definitely off her nut. Yeah. Pun intended. What uh -huh. is she sprinkling down for the squirrels? Uh, grain. Do squirrels eat grain? They'll That's... eat anything. I, I, I mean, I just never seen somebody that eats... I've never seen anybody that feeds squirrels feed them look like, almost like she was feeding chickens. Throwing down like... Oh, the late they eat bird seeds. They eat nuts. They well, I know they. I know anything. they eat nuts. I, that's just what I've always seen. That's what you know. They're. Well, I don't want to say it's not a stereotype, but it's just when you think about what do you know. Squirrels eat everyone that says nuts, so I never really thought about it further. I admit it's quite a story, but I know the difference between a tall tale and a large problem. I'll help however I can. I shudder to think what your elven surface would consider far-fetched. I'm not so sure I believe it myself. An elven circus, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Alchemy. They're creepy. Ooh. Picking up the glowy book. I mean, Gracious isn't too creepy. Um, but everyone else kind of is. Where'd you see a glowy book? I missed it. Over here. Oh, you were standing in front of it. That's why I didn't see it. I don't know. I almost forgot. Oh, I thought this was a player. Just dressed up. Well, this is the only one I, I like out of all of them. Enigma. That's probably because he's blue. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to talk to Alchemy. Greetings, traveler. If you've come to witness the marvels and mysteries of our troupe, I hope you haven't traveled far. Our performance is postponed indefinitely. On account of drama, ironically enough. Hmm. That seems to be the trouble. There's a more sinister mischief in Farmer's Nook than the sort the House of Reveries trades in. Uh, I hear of townsfolk disappearing, only to turn up and act oddly. We only set camp recently, but the locals fear we've somehow caused their plight. Well, don't be dancing around like a drunk marionette and you won't have those problems. God, do you have any idea what's happening here? None. That farmer, Hesef, said his sister was among the afflicted, and she died recently. At least he thought she died, but she left no corpse. I must clear the troop's name. With the locals wary as they are, though, I need help. And I can pay. 
I don't know what it is about me sometimes. I see the sentence. At least um, he thought she died. She left, but she left no corpse. And my brain thinking, of course not. She took it with her. Duh. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. My brain is a, is an interesting thing. I think I need to trade it in. I think it's broken. Uh, all right, I'll help you get to the bottom of this. Hesseth mentioned that two of his neighbors mm. also had loved ones vanish. Braden DeVoe and Jahuz. Speak with them. They may be more open with a less grandiose traveler. You might also speak with Hesseth directly, if you wish. What is with her? It's, bu it's really bugging me, the way she's prancing around in place. Mm -hmm. I was like... <laughs> And it's like, I, I still love the sentencing. I, you know, Hesseth mentioned that two of his neighbors also had loved ones vanish. Braden DeVoe and Jahuz is a speak with them. I can't speak with them. They vanished. No, they didn't. They're the, <laughs> that, that, the ones that didn't vanish. Well, it sounds like he says, you know, he's mentioning Braden DeVoe and Jahuz, and she says, speak with them. And I think, I can't speak with them. They're the ones that vanished. <laughs> All right, who are you? Any other day, I claim to be the lost princess of Piandania. And She's creeping me out. My exploits. Uh huh. Now's not the time for such frivolities. My fellows and I are entertainers from the House of Reveries, here to perform across all of Tamriel. I'm thinking bullshit. You're you're people from the Temple of Debella. Cause she is thrusting them boobs at me hardcore. And it's creeping me out. I mean, normally I wouldn't care, but it's just, the way she's doing it is really weird. What is the House of Reveries? I've been greatly disappointed with how often I've gotten that question since we departed from Somerset. There's not a soul in the Isles who hasn't heard of the Manor of Masks and its famed performers. But Tamriel will know it soon enough. So it's like a theater? Theater, conservatory, Don't circus, do salon, that. temple. The House of Reveries wears as many guises as we do. It is the ancestral home of all the performing arts in Somerset. And the world, if you believe some of the Sapiarchs. What brings your troop to such a remote little town? Sleepy little towns like Farmer's Nook are the most in need of an escape from the mundane. We came to offer them some mirth and mystery. But it appears we've been upstaged. Well, our troop won't be outdone so easily. We have a reputation to uphold. What are you planning to do? Help, of course. I've devoted my life to liberating people from their troubles, however briefly. And if I can't do that from a stage, then I will take my talents where they are most needed. This could be dangerous. I may seem a simple thespian to you, but I have had other roles in this life before I found my calling. While I may not count adventurer among them, I'm certain that I am far better prepared to unravel this mystery than these unfortunate folk. Can't remember if I asked her who she was. Oh well, no soon enough. Who are you? Any other day, I claim to be the lost right. princess yeah. of Piandania and regale. Okay. Right. I'll be right back. I don't care how I have to get back. I have. I'm jumping in the water. I feel so dirty <laughs> after talking to her. <laughs> her thrusting her stuff at me. Ugh. There. Ooh. All right, I'll come up and talk to the others, but good heavens. I mean, just the way she was gyrating her body was really unsettling. Uh huh. I keep getting hearing dings, and I don't understand why. I mean, I know it's something on the computer. I don't know. I don't know if maybe because I have a messenger open or, or what. I don't know. Okay, uh, I'll talk to 
Hesef. So, uh -huh. working with the mummers. That was they may say, seem strange, but at, uh, you're safer resting at their camp. Lots of faces, than boobs. <laughs> to say Braden runs a poor establishment, mind. There's just strangeness afoot in our little village. Mummers? What the heck is he talking about? Working with mummers. the mummers. Old name for actors. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm helping Alchemy with your problems. She suggested I hear your story for myself. Folk have been going missing of late, including my sister, Seal. Never for long, a few days. Just enough to plant to worry before they wander back as if nothing happened. But something did. They come back different. Like, everything's unfamiliar. I'm gonna eat a candy bar. It's a good one, too. Limited edition. Kit Kat Fruity Cereal. the Kit Kat? Yeah. Uh, I still have a couple left. I ended up buying the entire case. <laughs> over, the <co> <laughs> over the course of the day. Because when I first saw it, I mean, it held 24 uh, candy, candy bars. And uh -huh. I originally bought six. And then when I got back, I bought six more. Because, I mean, I was keep I was going to keep, you know, two for you. Um, and I, I ate two. And... W which I had two left, so that means I gave I gave one to Marina, and I was going to give one to Danielle, but Marina was right next to Smiley, and I didn't want to leave her out, so I gave it to her. So then I went up and I bought that second six, and I went ahead and gave three to Danielle, which gave me three left, and I ended up giving one or two of them away. So I bought six more, like on lunch, I think it was, and then I ended up buying the last six when I got off work. <laughs> But they are amazing. They taste exactly like fruity pebbles and milk. You know? I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Well, anybody that knows what fruity pebbles... Oh, fruity pebbles. Fruit Loops. Tastes like... Actually, well... Probably a cross between Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. Still, it's really, really good. Really, really sweet. Oh, well. Uh, like she forgot everything? Uh, weren't her memory. She could recall details down to where she last left the salt, but acted like she'd never tasted it. She'd bring up things I'd long forgotten as if they'd happened yesterday. Started dredging up old hurts we'd put past us long ago. Could they have been related to her disappearing? Can't say. Felt like she wanted to relive the past, good and bad. Don't know what would have brought that on. We lead quiet lives now. Happy lives, I thought. Led, I suppose. She's gone now. If it was even her in the first place. What happened to her? Seal led me to our old swimming hole. Hadn't been there in decades. She dove right in like we did as kids. I... I looked away before she struck the water. She hit hard. When I screwed up the courage to look, just inky black water. She was gone. Okay. That was the last time you saw her? That's right. Even with that ink in the pool, I could tell her body weren't there. I searched around the swimming hole, too. Nothing. Not so much as a wet footprint or even more of that vile ink, like she'd vanished. <laughs> he just let his redneck slip. Mm -hmm. In the second sentence... Even with that ink in the pool, I could tell her body weren't there. <laughs> what sort of things did um, Syl bring up before she took you to the swimming hole? A lot from our childhood, mostly. If our parents were around, they were deep in the skooma, so Seal and I had to look out for each other. Not so much anymore. The years have been peaceful here. I suppose we'd grown distant before she vanished. You drifted apart? No, no. Maybe. We'd sit down for meals together and tend the farm together, but there's not much to talk about in Farmer's Nook. Another field planted, another day gone by. Was she trying to tell me something? What was she trying to say? Uh, what can you tell me about the last time before... About the time before your sister went missing? We were all a bit shaken by what happened with Igman, but... Things were getting back to normal. Until Seal went out to collect logs and didn't return. 
I begged the others to help me search for her, but they feared they'd vanish too. Did you find anything? Truth is, I didn't make it far myself. I thought I heard things in those woods. Even during the day, it felt like something was watching. When she showed up at the house again, I nearly fainted. I should have been relieved, but I felt haunted. You think it could have been her ghost? Can a ghost take your hand? Make a meal? If she slept, I never saw it. I barely slept myself. Uh, the staring was the worst. Felt like she was always watching, smiling. When she'd blink, it was like one eye was a hair shy of the other. Gave me chills. <laughs> yeah, sounds a little creepy. See, I was right, Mary. Look at the look at what the um, the quest says. The face of change. Talk to to Braden Devoe and talk to Ch see. I was yeah. right. I was they're right. Not the, they're not the ones who disappeared. They're the ones who were left behind. Don't take that from me. <laughs> Playing with your balls of fire. Just alchemy. She's just so weird. What'd you do? Get a bee in your britches? Looks like it. Hey, dancing, let me be. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to shake something out of your boot. Like whatever it is, it's now in your pant legs. And you're trying to shake it out. Okay, that's better. I'm just going to get a little bit further away from alchemy. Hey, I'm sorry. She just creeps me out. The way she was gyrating her body when you were talking to her is just very unnerving. Yep. Uh, which one should we talk to first? Jehu's or Braden? Um, I don't care. Is that a cow? It's a cow! It's a cow! Yes, it is a cow. If you've never seen a cow before. When was the last time you've actually seen a cow in ESO? <laughs> um, I can't remember in ESO, but I used to see them all the time in Skyrim. Yep, yeah, this, I mean, I haven't seen a cow in ESO before. So, you know, I know you're probably thinking, it's a fucking cow. It's not that impressive. And you're thinking, it's the first one I've seen. <laughs> it's as impressive to me. I found a glowing book. I found pumpkins. Far side of the building. Fine. Um... I found a dock. <laughs> Looks here. I see it. Well, she's singing to the dogs at least. Yep. Uh, it would have just been too simple. The book next to her. Uh huh. Did you notice what it was? On Topol Bay. Right. Open it. What does it say directly below below that? A love song. And what do we have right next to us? A minstrel. And don't you think point? You know, it would have been so just perfect if she was singing that song. 
It would have been. Yes. <laughs> I was like, like, come on, people! Missed opportunity here! I mean, who would have thought if you would have walked past her, even if you would have stopped and listened to her, and then you would have opened the book and realized she's singing that song? Uh-huh. That would have just added, like, one point of cool factor. That stew? Ew! Looks like a fish head. Looks like, maybe like a... What is that? Like, maybe some type of... Like a lobster or something with that kind of body. I see another fish head. I'm gonna grab it just to see what it is. Radishes and rice. My ass! Oh, well, I'll take it anyways. It might be worth a gold. But yeah, that looked disgusting. Oh, you're inside the house? Okay. The happy crow. Oh, there's somebody in there to talk to. Well, I will do that in just a second. I'm going to go upstairs. And see. Um, we'll take that. I'm um, talking to Brayden. Okay. I'm thieving. Of course. Okay, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping him distracted then. Keep your clothes on. There are other ways to distract. Uh, let's see. Ooh. That was a hundred gold uh, item there. Uh, let's see. Wait, what was that? Horn of the Chieftain. Okay, why that's in a burlap sack, I don't know. Thing. <laughs> I took his money. I'm not gonna take his cheese because I don't care. Oh, there's more coins. Yeehaw. All right, I guess I'll talk to him. We're out of meat and no hot meals. If those are luxuries to which you're accustomed, you can keep on moving and find another inn. Now I don't feel bad for robbing him. I'm looking for the disappearances of the strange and the strange way people are acting when they return. Ass. What are you, some sort of adventurer? Yeah. Yeah, you look the part. Sorry I was short with you. Too late. Since Igman passed, I've had to work twice as hard and twice as long to run the inn. It's done my manor no favors. No kidding. What happened to Igman? Damned fool. He wanted to build a bonfire and drink the night away like we used to. Haven't seen Igman down mead like that since we were barely men. He lost his legs and tumbled into the fire. Nothing but cinders left by the time I doused the blaze. No remains? Not so much of a scrap of clothing. Just black, tarry ashes. Never seen anything throw such a thick black smoke. But it didn't smell like you'd expect. Hair and burned flesh. More like old hay or musty linens. It wasn't natural. I'd like to ask you about what happened before Igman's death. I want to know what happened to my brother. Whether he's alive or truly dead. Even if the truth says he really did die in that fire, at least I can put my doubts to rest. What do you wish to know? I heard Igman went missing for a little while. That's right. He'd gone to get supplies from Gideon. What should have been a couple of days turned into more than a week. I'd begun to fear that he'd been robbed and left for dead on the road, but he wandered back into town like nothing had happened. Did he say what happened? Said he got lost. As if he hadn't walked that road a thousand times. 
I'd have accused him of gambling our money away on toad races, but he had every piece of gold he left with. How do you spend a week lost in the wood and not look worse for wear? <laughs> Was there anything else unusual about him after he returned? Huh. Like he didn't have a care in the world. He seemed to be enjoying even the usual drudgery. Never thought I'd miss his belly aching over the chores, but he just didn't seem himself. Uh, did anything unusual occur before Igman went missing? No. Things were as they usually are in Farmer's Nook. Uneventful. It's exciting times when our little inn sees more than a couple travelers in a month. Ever since Igman got lost, things have been nothing but trouble. How so? Two others disappeared since Igman, and all three were acting strange before they met on timely ends. That's even what you could call it. No one wanders from the village now. Some folk are sleeping in my inn just to stick close. Okay. Now we have to talk to... Where's that Yeah, something like that. Sounds, uh... Khajiit. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I should say, it sounds khajiit -y. Boy, that frog is just tearing up the ground. Them hops. Uh, my little oasis frog? Yeah, your little dragon frog. He's gonna wear that little bastard out. <laughs> it's like he's putting everything he owns into each jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's not. He's, uh, what? Red guard? Yeah, red guard. Oh, yep. Careful. You you might have scared the mayor. Who are you? What do you want? Yeah, I've scared the mayor. I'm looking into the disappearances and the strange way people are acting when they return. You've come about Bugtree. I knew someone would. But my neighbors have kept their distance since he returned. I cannot blame them. I scarcely wish to take him back myself. Not after Igman and Seal. Bring myself to turn him away. Are you afraid of Bugtail? Yes. Or rather, I fear I will share his fate. Bugtail rode out to deliver a horse despite my protests. The gelding returned. He did not. Before I would have been the first to go looking, but I dreaded he'd return. Like the others. And he did. Where is he now? Dead. Or gone. For now. Even the horses could tell something was wrong with him. I fought with this one's reins as he groomed her, but she started and kicked Bugtail. Ink sprayed everywhere. <sighs> when I cleared my eyes, it was all that remained. I have some other questions if you're willing to share more. I do not wish to speak of what has happened here, but I will. How many more will vanish and return to haunt us if no one tries to stop it? What is it you wish to know, stranger? Who was Bugtail to you? Far off land of elsewhere, I was taken by sea elf privateers and sold into imperial slavery. Bugtail had been a slave for many years when I arrived. Like many Kajit after Queen Eurexia invaded elsewhere, we bonded because we spoke so little. How did you escape? You may think me a spinner of tall tales, but I swear I speak no lies. Bugtail and I were languishing under the hot sun, digging new metal for the Imperial Queen. And a dragon swooped out of the sky and scorched the land. In the chaos, we ran. You really saw a dragon? I will never forget the sound of those Eurexian soldiers screaming. Truthfully, I do not know what scared me more, seeing that giant fire-belching beast. What about Bugtail made you and your horses uneasy? I would not have suspected anything in this had I not known of what happened to Igman and Seal. There was nothing sinister in his look or manner. If anything, he regarded me more warmly than he had in years. Normally, he could go days without a word. Any idea why he's so why he was so talkative? He seemed to want to reminisce about our more adventurous days before we escaped the farmer's nook. 
and settle down to raise horses. <laughs> they were lively at times, but I would not trade them for what I have now. Wait a moment, stranger. Uh -oh. I need to speak with you. Okay. Alrighty. Let's talk to the old woman. So you're the one's been asking questions about the people who've gone missing, then come back wrong? That's right. Do you know something? I don't like involving strangers in our affairs, but my daughter is gone. Not the first time, or even the fourth, that Annie's has run off, but, well, you've heard what befell the others. I'm worried she's in real danger. Gosh, she's just a slip of a thing, isn't she? Yep. Could probably use her as a lance. When did you last see Anise? A few days ago. I, I punished her for neglecting our chores again. She must have snuck out in the night. I couldn't find hide nor hair of her in the morning. She hasn't been home since. She's a stubborn one. But normally she'd have come back by now. You're afraid she's vanished like the others? I just want to know she's all right. I hate asking a stranger to do this, but no one else has a spine to leave the nook right now. And I can't go tracing after that rep scallion like I used to. Will you find Anise and bring her back to me? Where should I start my search for Anise? Our house is just over there, on the west side of town. There may be something among Anise's things that points to where she ran off to. But my nerves are too frayed to see it. I'm at my wit's end. Okay, what can you tell me about Anise? She doesn't want to live here in Farmer's Nook, I can tell you that. That girl's been trying to get out of here since she was old enough to walk. She's still convinced she's going to travel to Abba's Landing and join some pirate crew. Anise wants to be a pirate? It's not like I raised her to embrace a life of piracy. It's those books her father got her when she was young. Filled her head with ridiculous tales of far-off lands, adventures, and riches. I sailed in my younger days. It's not so glamorous. What do you mean? Sailing is days of rope burns and sunburns. It's being tossed about the cabin while a storm rolls your ship. It's bad food, stale water, and wondering if you'll ever make it home. And that's not the life she's dreaming. No, she won't listen. Okay, so we have to search the house. That's a weird place for a pewter seam. Oh, pewter? Yeah, pewter right smack day. dab in the middle of the walkway. <laughs> Surprised no one else has got it. No kidding. It probably just arrived there. Let's see, bookshelf? Notched butcher knife. Here's what I want to know. How would we know that was a clue? Um, yeah, because we don't have Greg around just pointing it out to us, do we? Right. Hearth ashes. I mean, yeah, you would look at... Uh, Is there burn... anyone in here to see me ceiling? I just stole something and I did get in trouble. Oh, flipping lot picks me. Ugh. And there was a... I didn't, I didn't see that one. There was a, it was a piece of paper with only like two legible words on it. Uh, what were the words? The only legible print spells Ek Hands... Wa. Ekenswa. No, ek as in E C K. Yep. The word hands and then W A. It's kinda like ek is the last part of a word and W A is the first part of a word. Ah. Portable chamber pot. Ugh. You people really, really, really need to get into the, you know, swing of things and start getting bathrooms. 
I'm tired of seeing portable chamber pots and going, well, it's 40 gold. No, and I'm carrying around a portable chamber pot in my inventory. I'm looking at the clue if you want to look at it as well. I was going to say, why is there a pouch of thumbtacks? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. Thumbtacks? You're telling me they invented thumbtacks, but they haven't invented indoor plumbing? Oh, goodness. Rolled up scroll. Uh, if you think about it, some thumbtacks aren't really much more than a nail with a big head. Well, I've had nails before plumbing. Well, yeah, but it didn't say nails. It said thumbtacks. Do you see what's on there? That map mm -hmm. thing? Okay. Hmm, that nightstand you can't mess with. Let's see what's in here. Obsidian. All right, I guess we're done. Up here. I'm glad we robbed the bottom half of the house before we went upstairs. Right? Well, like she... We now have a witness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We don't have much, I know. And I think she could and take us. never fails to remind me. Have you found anything that might lead to my daughter? I found some fragments of a burned note in the fireplace. Was that yours? That's just some old handbill Annie's had been hanging on to. Months old. Some vessel seeking fresh-faced deckhands that's long since pulled up anchor. I pitched it to the hearth after our last argument. That's probably why she left, but not where. Your butcher knife has taken some real abuse. When Annie's was little, we couldn't keep her away from it. She'd grab it when we weren't looking and batter the walls and stairs, pretending it was her pirate sword. It drove my husband crazy. Now, I've made do for so long I never bothered to replace it. What about this map? I found it under her bed. What's that doing out? Anise's plan for a fort. My husband built it for her when she was about six. Oh, it must be a moldering wreck by now. Uh, unless, if she hasn't run off to join that elf circus, uh, she might be there. It was east of here, in the hills. I'll check it out. Ooh, a fort. Gosh, I sure... Ah, you're off to find this Annie girl, then. Tell Go! Me what you've learned. I don't want to talk to you anymore! Anything. No! No! I don't want to talk to the creepy gyrating thing. Oh! You've been gone for some time. You managed to persuade the locals to share their stories with you, yes? Don't do Did it. Do firelight tales share any common themes? Don't do it, Alchemy! Uh, all the victims wanted to reminisce about the past and disappeared again after sudden accidents. Restless phantoms returning to say their last goodbyes before being spirited away once more? This really is beginning to sound like a ghost story. It's all a little too coincidental, don't you think? There has to be a common cause. Male... Oh, God, what's... Was it male... Fa whatever. The old woman asked me to look at her missing daughter, Annie. Have you seen her? You and Hesef have been our only visitors at the camp. If Annie has only recently gone missing, there may still be a chance for us to find her before she becomes the latest victim in this ghost story. Do you have any leads? It appears Annie might have run away to an old play fort in the hills near here. Seeking out a more comforting time. Oh, but she did it! Let's hope she hasn't escaped into the arms of a monster. I'll follow your lead. My expertise in stage combat won't do as much good, but I have a few other talents and tricks up my sleeve. Let's head to the play fort. Can we not? I don't want that with me. Creeping me out. Creepy thing. Is she following? Yes. Yes. weird oh no wonder i was wondering why my uh tablet was uh page was going dark it's because i hadn't opened up uh i hadn't opened twitch up all the way to actually see my stream 
it's still doing good. It's still in like maybe not even five seconds behind. Ooh, there's a Spriggan. I wonder if I can sneak up on a Spriggan. Probably not. Should be able to. Something detected me. I don't know what it was. Come on, if I can get around these trees. God, that thing's creepy. I wasn't talking about the Spriggan. Do you not find her creepy at all? No, she wasn't thrusting her boobs at me. There's two sprigs I had. Good thing I can use my uh, stealth attacks at range. I think it probably wouldn't be wouldn't be as creepy as if bog she did dog. bog dog. Where do you see a bog dog? Oh, see, you're going on oh. the other side of the rock. You're going on. You're uh -huh. going to the left. I'm going to the right. Uh huh. Here, puppy. Buggy doggies. Dead buggy doggies. See, there's a spriggan that I was going gonna go after. Dang, two for one special. A shitty fort. Sure, but footprints. Footprints coming here and heading somewhere else. Oh my god! I cannot believe she said that. Footprints Seems like leading to and going away. It's like no shit, really. She, she planned to be gone a while. The wolf and the pirate queen. Yeah, here's the Lord. Pirate Queen of the Gold Coast. Did you get the uh, training sword? The training sword? No. That's probably be the last thing I have left to get. I wonder what adventures this tiny sword has seen. A list of departures. Annie's had a mind to travel. I can picture our young heroine. Watch out for her imagination like a saber and cutting okay. her way through all manner of adventure. I don't want to watch I her. Crave adventure and freedom. Play is my only escape. I come here to plan. I fantasize about leaving. Doubt holds me back. I need someone to believe in me. So often I'm alone, but today I have a visitor, someone I trust. I go with them. I've never been more excited. Why did you walk up to me, for God's sake? Uh, I don't want to talk to her. Fine. I believe I have thrust to the God. Hunter. Hear me out. <laughs> She's just as soon as she says, I believe I have a thrust to the heart, she starts heaving her chest at me. It's like, God, why? 
have to burn. I'm gonna have to burn my eyes out. What was it you were doing there besides being stupid? Getting into character, you could say. Preparing for a part is all about understanding my role, how they think, how they feel, anything and everything about oh. who they are. I have always had a good head for details, and it serves me well as an actress. What did you learn about Ennis then? She's young, or at least young at heart. She's unhappy with her life, but she feels trapped. She has a dream to follow, but she's too scared to go it alone. Only now, she's found help. How do you know that? One place to sleep, yet two mugs on the crate, both unfinished. And of course, two sets of footprints heading south into the marsh, dancing all the way. The only way forward is to follow in their steps. Shall we dance too? No, we're not dancing. That was my thought too. Yeah. Let's see what we find in the marsh then. I don't know who Annie's met out here, but the clues suggest that she wasn't in God. danger. Yet. We shouldn't dawdle. Maybe she really is just running away? That might very well be the case. Though I have to wonder why she'd leave her pack behind if she had no intention to return. I don't like meddling in someone's family affairs. But let's confirm she's all right before we jump to any conclusions. Any idea who she met? Uh, wait, any idea who she may have met here? Someone she trusted enough to share oh, a drink with. God. There's little doubt in my mind that she left with them voluntarily. The question is, was this person really who they appeared to be? We won't know the answer to that until we catch up with them. That's it. I'm getting my turp pen out. She is scarring me. <laughs> is that your dragonfly? Yep. Okay. I thought it might be because it was just there too long. And I'm thinking, there's a dragonfly over my shoulder and Mary hasn't pulled it apart yet. <laughs> God, I don't... Gosh, she creeps me out. Oh, I didn't see the lore book. Pirates of the Abyssinian. I completely missed that. Was it there? Yeah. Huh. I, I told you it was there. No, you I said thought, there was I a... Thought, I said there lore was, book. Yeah. I no, said shiny book, and you, then I said lore book. I didn't hear the lore book part. I heard shiny book, and that was the wolf and the pirate queen. Uh-huh. That was the shiny book, and I didn't see it because of its color. Uh-huh. I'm going to pull up on Mary's dragonfly. Come here. Come here. Pluck, pluck, pluck. <laughs> Ooh, is that a great bear? It is a great bear. Eh, I'll leave the great bear alone. Unless Mary wants to pick on it. Oh, Mary sees a uh, runestone. Pick on the bear. Okay. That lightning, that was you. That, that's you, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I thought so. It's just sometimes... I've got one... I need to check and see what one of these abilities is. I don't remember what it is anymore. Swallow soul. Okay. Uh, steal an enemy's life force, dealing magic damage and healing you. Okay. I couldn't remember. She's rem not down there. Hmm? She's not down there. How far do we have to look? Well, let's see. I'm going to head. I look. see. I see pewter. A ogre. Um, you, see, you see pewter? Yeah, I see pewter. Would Where you rather have. Are you? Up here. I'll go, I'll go get the pewter. But there is also an ogre down by the uh, water's edge. Okay. I was looking at the map and I was going into the circle. There's a lizard bear up there. Lizard bear? Yep. Ah! <laughs> uh, 
well, I I had my I guess my my crosshairs too high, and all I saw was centipede, and I'm like, where is it? And all of a sudden, this big son of a bitch stands up and is like, that's not a centipede. Bad centipede. <laughs> and you saw an ogre? Yep. That's not an ogre. I know <laughs> this. Maybe this is the ogre. O ogre is this way. That's not an ogre? Where? No, that is not an ogre. The ogre is over this way. The ogre is ogre this way. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can... Oh. Dang, look at that lanky body. He kind of reminds me of uh, one of the Titans on Attack on Titan. Oh! <laughs> you can't sneak up on ogres, apparently. <laughs> wow, did you see what he did? I was just right behind me. He's like, I see you, you little bitch. And he just swung and backhanded me. <laughs> That's like shit. <laughs> okay, out of range there. It's like, I know I can use my attacks at range, but, I mean, it's there's something just, you know nice about being able to get right up behind somebody. You see this thing here? What thing where? This thing here. Oh, mud hoppers? Yeah, I've seen mud hoppers. That's cute. That's so cute. In a weird way. Yeah. One of the Croc in the water. Croc in the water. Bad croc. And I know you were attacking that one. Yep. I knew which one you were talking about. Death Hopper! Well, this would be an interesting place for her to be. The yeah. tracks lead to this ruin. Did Annie's come here seeking adventure? We should look around. I'm gonna go check out these two players. See what they. Ooh. Uh, one player, one companion. Oh, is this a town? Oh, look at the look at the player. Look at his face. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And this is the companion. Yeah, yeah. that's Bastian. I don't like the way he looks. He looks dumb. That's how he's being dressed. Oh, that's right. You can, uh, I forgot about yep. that. I forgot that you can customize how, um, what their, um, appear. Can you change their face? No. Okay, so just basically what they wear and any tattoos and markings. Uh, you you right. do the skills and stuff as well. Well, yeah, I was, ta I, I was just meaning their appearance, their outward appearance. Yeah. Did I have um, enough time on this one? I'm looking at the ancient urn. Okay. Why did they have to say dry ashes? Um, because you'd expect them to be absorbing water from the marsh by now. No, who would have thought of that other than you? I <laughs> think that's a funerary urn. The ashes are too fresh. I'm now reading the saga the, of Captain Weirshark. Uh, the ashes are too fresh. Oh. How do you know this? I mean, it, does she just open it? Look, say, yep, those are fresh ashes. Well, she, she's she's obviously been something else in her past life. I I I figure she was um, CSI. <laughs> uh. 
what, uh, uh Cyrodiil Sh Shenanigans Investigator? Yep. <laughs> I was trying to think of something that would fit. <laughs> That's all I could think of was Cyrodiil. It's like, yeah, Cyrodiil's all PvP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a good place for her. Okay. Go to Cyrodiil, go bother them. Um, do you want to read this book so that viewers can read it whilst you've got it open? Um, I wasn't going to read it because it was so long. This book is well worn, oh, shoot. It disappeared. Given the subject matter, was that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Oh. Um, I mean, if you want to read it, it's probably in the quest. I, quest I, I, I don't, I'd already read it. Um, no, I wasn't going to read it. I was holding it open. so that... Oh, that's what I was doing. I was waiting. I was waiting like about two seconds on each page. Ah, I, so, could, I couldn't see you because all I could see was the book. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when I the uh, burnt paper, yeah. Burnt, burnt paper. I think the only thing I don't have haven't clicked on is the uh, brazier. Yeah. But yeah, on the books, I'm still tr I'm still reminding myself to leave it o e open to about two seconds each page, so that way, if the viewers want to read it, they can pause. You know, yeah. p pause it on the rewatch. Uh huh. All right. Let's just Click on, click on the brazier. Ah, burnt paper. That must have been what you're talking about. Yep. Um, there are bits of paper they're still in this saturated brazier, with black and most blood. of these books are too soggy yep. for tinder. Yeah. Well, this is troubling. No, what's troubling is you're making me talk to that weirdo again. Uh-huh. I'd rather come out here and fight a bog dog than go in there and talk to a psycho. Oh. I think I'd rather fight a harsh motor. Yeah. With a <laughs> with a wet stick. I believe Annis came here and performed some sort of ritual, and not the sort conjured from an overactive imagination. Whoever she followed here convinced her to make an offering to this place. Oh, what kind of place is this? What makes you say that? I'm certain that well-worn adventure book was a dear possession to Annie's. She wouldn't have torn pages from it for a lark. She burned them in that brazier with her own blood for some ritual purpose. Any idea what that could be? Not yet. But I was a mage of great talent in a past life. If there's any clue relating to what is occurring in Farmer's Nook, I'll find it. There's a good chance Annie's will return to town, like the others. If she does, confront her about this. All right, I'll head back now. If Annie's does return to Farmer's Nook, be careful confronting her. The last thing we want is for her to do something drastic and come to harm like those who came before her. <laughs> what if... <coughs> excuse me. What if the one who led Anise out here returns? Afraid my witty repartee won't be enough to keep me out of trouble? I'm hurt. Trust me when I say I know how to make a dramatic exit when I need to. But, if I don't return to town in a short while, assume the worst. Oh, I'm going to hope for the worst. I'm not going to assume anything. Unfortunately, this is just swampy, so I can't get in the real deep water to wash off the ick from talking to her. <laughs> well, I'm so I'm sorry. It's got it probably has a lot to do with the mask. But when she just shakes her body like that, it's just it's just wrong. Oh well, yeah, you got the right idea, but you got to. Ooh, dragonfly. But you have to remember, I'm using a controller. I can't sit down. <laughs> Don't drown! Wait, do that again. <laughs> but don't get up right away. 
Don't drown. <laughs> it's like, gee, where's Mary? <laughs> Mary! Mary! <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> All the weird things I think of. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to help. Gee, I saw Mary here just a second ago. <laughs> At least with that one, she gets up automatically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say, plus, depending on where I was standing, you probably could have just sat up. Uh-huh. Sprickens. Oh, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't looking there. Unfortunately. Let's see. I'll just get as close as I can to one, and then... Siphoning increased to 11. And I, yeah, I was going to say, I didn't... I didn't loot that other one. Ooh, I think I see some wood without a glow. Does I it... see a bog dog. And some wood. And another bog dog and the rune start. Do you... Oh, no wonder. That explains why there were two. I was like, how did that one see me? I was sneaking right up on it. <laughs> but there was, a... the yeah, over here. Say, there was another one. He was probably like, hey, Frank, don't look now, but there's a lizard sneaking up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Assassination increased to 17. Spriggan. I can't tell if I'm behind it? Okay. Uh. I was not originally. Dead. Dead, dead, dead ski. <clears throat> A cow! Another cow! Another cow! Oh my gosh! I even got a Holstein. She. I know you're thinking. Can you, what? Can you tip him? Can you tip the cow? Um, let me see. Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Of society. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How much bounty have you got? Uh, 33. But <laughs> you didn't. Did you see the, what I got? Did you see? I didn't know. Um, There's some you, ore up here. Um, you. Sh I mean, would you feel like killing a cow to get get an achievement? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it uh, discreetly. Okay, I figured. Yeah, so I won't tell you why I was laughing. You'll you'll understand when you get the achievement. <laughs> yeah, ground beef. <laughs> yep, it's lying on the ground because I killed it. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Where's Spike? Where'd he go? I didn't kill that one. Well, wait, I farted. I, I mean, it could have been. I mean, it was Mary's cooking, after all. <laughs> oh, 
Where's where'd Spike go? Where's the farmer? The one I have that... no I have no idea. Because I wanted to actually see if I could talk to him. And plus, uh, the, I, I was calling him Spike because of the voice actor. Is it a uh, Bolatedalan? I don't know. I'll go find out. Oh, I can't talk to him. I don't think he's one that you can talk to. No. Hmm. So it could have been him. Which, which means you could happily just uh, blade of worm in the back. <laughs> <laughs> child uh, oh now i feel bad <laughs> he had a child's drum on him which means wait did i just orphan some children i i don't know but i i'm picking up undead expulsion pouch the small pouch containing blessed items is said to ward off some types of undead creatures now if i take it off him is he gonna come back as a zombie <laughs> Good question. Wait, here's another person. Well, don't even people okay. around here seem to like to chat regularly. I have no time for that nonsense. You don't talk so much work to do. Not yet. I plan to make this one of the most successful farms within weeks of here. He just took forever to answer me. Oops. Crotch, chest, face. Yeah, I clicked on him and he just stood there and stared at me for a minute. And I thought, okay, he's not going to answer me. I was trying to figure out which which house might have the... Ooh, might have the children in it. I, I, just, I just got poultry assassin. You just got poultry assassin, huh? Yeah. Ooh, a lizard. Hello, lizard. Wait, I better not... I better not. He might be family. <laughs> Could be a distant cousin. You don't know. Uh huh. Could, could be Uncle Frank. Do you have poultry assassin's achievement yet? I don't know, to be honest. Probably not. <laughs> Chicken! I do now. Now, if that was just a tiny achievement, would that be a. Would you get, you know, like, Paltry Assassin? Yeah. P-A-L-T-R-Y? Yes. I know, not one of the best of my attempted uh, clever retorts, but hey. Denise. Oh. Everything all right? You. Your mother's looked all over for you. Where have you been? Ugh, I ran away again, all right? Just be glad I came back at all. Wow, he's got a severe limp. Did you notice that before? Joseph? What did you do? Where are you? Because I just got something and there was like... Next to a dead body? There was a, a there was like some kind of an achievement. <laughs> uh, it was uh, the uh, daily endeavor. Right. Um, did you um, notice that Josef has a serious lamp? I hadn't noticed. Yeah, I mean it was bad. Almost, almost like he he's got one of those. Uh, is well, it's going to sound dumb, but it should make sense. Uh Catch up, catch up, catch up. What? Anise has arrived. Yeah, I know. I already saw her. Oh, okay. I had. Well, do you? Are you still seeing it? Yeah. Well, she's watch still it. Inside. Watch Hoset then. Watch him go in. He's got a pirate limp. That's what I was going to call it. Oh, he's got. Has he got peg leg? I don't know. It's just the way he was. He was walking. He was walking like he might have had one, but you know. I don't know. And he's behind the counter, so I can't... Oh, well, no, he's got... No, no, that's, no, that's not him. Here. Nope, he's got both of his legs. He just has a really serious limp. 
Okay. All right, I'll talk to Anise. Or Annie's. What's the big deal? This is the seventh time I tried running away in three years. Why are they all gawping at me like they're afraid to blink? You're not the first person to disappear recently. Do I know? No, I don't know you. Why do you care? And none of those people disappeared. They went after their dreams. I'm not the only one who has those, you know? Nobody wants to be stuck in farmer's nook for their whole life. I might. You never know. Uh, but they all came back like you. They just didn't want anyone to miss them. It's why I'm here now. I didn't want the last time my mom saw me to be after another fight. But they have to let us go sometime. You make it sound like they're dead. <laughs> what? No, no. It's not like they're buried in a crypt or anything. I'm just trying to say I'm not the only one who felt trapped here. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I don't even know you. <clears throat> no! But she has really pretty eyes. We have a she does! Oh, God, now she wants to talk <sighs> in private. All right, that's uh -oh. it. I've, that's it. I've had enough. I've had enough. Nope. 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 Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, there's got to be a place. Got to be a place somewhere. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's see. Um... Hmm. No, no, got you. I do. Ah, okay. All right. <gasps> what? Ooh. Yeah, talk to alchemy. I don't want to talk to alchemy. I want you to come up here and blade of woe me in the back. I had to find a place do to what? sit down. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> I said I want you. To... No, I I really didn't because alchemy was talking at me. Uh oh. I told you, I, I said, I'm not going to. I said, I want you to come upstairs and Blade of Woe me in the back. <laughs> I was looking for a place th that would allow me to sit down. I couldn't find a, I couldn't find a working chair. So I went upstairs and I found a, uh, just a single seat. Uh, Alice is sat on the only working chair. Wow! Someone needs to fix that gap, people! That is not how you want to come down from the second floor. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Did you see what happened? No. I, I, fe <laughs> I fell through. I, I went to the stream to look. <laughs> I fell through. <laughs> Who does that? Oh you, oh, you know what the like around here? They, they don't have the uh, health and safety executive. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up the very first uh, OSHA office. Because <laughs> Christ almighty. I don't even want to talk to Alchemy. She's standing there all creepily. Uh... Favrog. What do you make of her? I don't have anything to compare her to, but she might know more than she's letting on. How apropos, considering that little library we found is a shrine to Hermaeus Mora. God! Though I'm still not sure how the demon of knowledge fits into this puzzle of ours. Why would Annie consort I'm kind of excited. Perhaps I should have made an offering of my own. You're saying Anise was dealing with Daedra? It certainly looks that way. I didn't find anything relating to the ritual that was performed at that shrine, but some of those moldy tomes shed a little light on things. The Aeliads, who used to live out here, revered Mora as their principal prince. Didn't, didn't you get those Her Hermaeus Mora things that you ordered a long time ago? Yeah, yeah, I have to send, uh, send one of those out to you. Yeah. Got oh. two little fuzzy hermamoras. All right. That kind of reminds me. I was thinking about it. Uh, if, I mean, one th one thing no one has done that I would really like somebody to do, and I've mentioned this to Mary before, is if I mean, if I had the knowledge and the money and stuff to get three um, D printers. I would love it if somebody would make 3D pr uh, printed statues of 
the Adra and Daedra statues that you find in Elder Scrolls. Like, especially like in Skyrim, all the, whenever you come up to like a shrine, you see a big statue, you know, statue. I mean, a, I mean, heck, a good, I don't know, probably a 8, 12 inch statue. And that would be of just the, just the body, just the actual figure themselves. If they were stand, standing up, like say, for example, Azura, measure her from her foot to the top of her head at like, say, a foot. And then, you know, you have maybe other adornments and stuff that could stick out. But yeah, that that's what I would love is someone to go out there and make those statues. So that way, you know, people like me could buy them and <laughs> display them. Because <laughs> I love those, I love those, uh, those statues. I don't know why, I just really, really do. All right, more talking with Creepy. How does that help us? The shrine we found was simply one of many ruins. God. I discovered record of another ruin near Tathana's Nook. If we're dealing with a cult or some other servants of Mora, it would make the perfect hideaway. What do you say we go check it out? Mm, doesn't sound like fun to me. Oh, that's not an option. Ugh. <laughs> Could be worth investigating. Let's go. The ruin I spoke of is north of town, not the too ruin. far. I'll have a word with the innkeeper and Hesef about keeping Annie's occupied while we work, but if you wish to speak with anyone else before we head out, I'll wait here. Oh, I wish to speak with everybody else in Tamriel. <laughs> so wait here while I do that. <laughs> Are you that worried about Annie's? We have reason to suspect that Anise is somehow involved in this mystery. Better to assume she is playing the role of the villain until we know more. Even if she's simply another victim of circumstance, it's safer for everyone that she stay put. All right. You are now upstanding. Yes, I am. Thank you Yay. for noticing. <laughs> God, just because I'm a lizard doesn't mean I'm going to be on all fours all the time. Okay, now, oh, we get to talk to... I was, I was just going to to say um, the inky residues makes a heck of a lot of sense now. No, because of Daedra? Because of Hermes, Hermes Mora. Yeah, Hermes Mora. Yeah, I'm going to talk to, to Mal or whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm outside. She's safe. Okay. Feels like I've pulled my heart from a vice. Oh, sorry, I troubled you with another of Anise's tantrums. Everything seems normal then. Nothing unusual. No, nothing. She looks right as rain, and I'd recognize that attitude anywhere. <laughs> I know what you're driving at. You're saying I should be worried? Well, out with it. Mm, let's see. Your daughter did some kind of ritual out in the marsh. You might want to watch her closely. Ritual? Ugh. I'm gonna what have to nonsense talk is to her. The girl's head now. Anise doesn't know the first thing about magic. She's just got an overactive imagination and too much free time. Well, thank you for telling me. I'll mention it when I ground her. See, when when it comes to people doing magic, and she, and you know she just you know she just said Anise doesn't know the first thing about magic. She's just got an overactive imagination and too much free time. That is when shit goes wrong. Is when someone has an over imagine overactive imagination and too much free time and they try a ritual. Because those kind of people, they just you know, they just want to do it so they don't spend the time. They don't do the research. They don't, you know, make sure they're doing everything right, and that's when shit hits the fan. Always do the research, people. Yep. When summoning anything, always do your research. <laughs> and make sure it's yeah. not written in cursive. <laughs> yeah. How to summon a lemon. <laughs> Is that what you were referring to? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that's what it was. <laughs> and I, I hope you people uh, that, that watch us know what we're talking about. It is a really common what like a comic or meme. a meme that pops up on uh facebook on the regular 
Uh-huh. Yeah. There's a hackwing over there on that rock. A hackwing? On the uh, oh, small yeah. of the two rocks. Yeah. Shall we? We shall. Ooh! He got a little angry. Rawhide scraps. Another hack ring? Oh! Yep, I see it. And there is uh, a lizard bear as well. Ooh! Hack ring. Oh! There, there was two of them! Yep. Where'd, where'd Tall, Dark, and Ugly go? Just behind this rock. Ah! Ah! Hi! <laughs> I know he got to the end of his patrol area. I can't remember what was the what was the uh, giant crocodile things called. Oh, Do you remember? I can't, I can't remember. No. We only saw the what two. We saw the same one twice. Right, right. Gosh, she is so creepy. What? Uh, no, not around her. Oh, where? <laughs> oh, okay, that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, she's definitely a mood killer. Heartwood Harvester. That must mean I got some heart heartwood for the first time. Out of uh, out of that crazy thing. Hold still. How can we kill you if you do not hold still? I made it hold Where? still. Where? No, you don't. Lizard bear. Oh. Two lizard bears. She says that as I'm in mid flight. Like, thank you. Helpful. <laughs> I threw you some healing. <laughs> That's not the point. It's like, you should have said two <laughs> at the beginning, not while I am in mid air. This isn't Looney Tunes. I can't stop in mid air, turn around, and come back. Have you seen this over here? Were they having a shouting match? Yep. Mexican standoff between a lizard bear and a great bear. Hmm. I'm putting my money on the lizard bear. If they actually went to blows, my money's on the lizard bear. What do you think? I'd I, go with the great bear. The great bear is just stood there saying, yeah, come on, come at me. Lizard bear's old mouth. Well, yeah, there is that. But see, <laughs> I look at it this way. The lizard bear can stand up on its hind legs just like the regular bear. But the lizard bear has also got somewhat armored skin. And he's got that beak. So I think in a fight... I don't know. I, I still think it could go either way because I think um, I think the lizard bear is probably going to be slower and stronger, yeah. but I think the great bear will probably be faster. I don't know. It could go either way. I just don't feel like standing there waiting for them to attack each other. Oh, we have to go that way. Uh, No, we're going th this way. Oh, I see some ore. Because if we're going to the ruin, it's just right past them. Uh, it's down here. Oh, chest.
simple chest? Yep. Set of gold, iron dagger of shock, and the malachite shard. Nice. So I guess the ruin is down here. Because there's creepy. Ah! Missed. Ooh, uh, there's a lot of pages leading the up The Saga of Captain Ware Shark? Volume 2. We saw Volume 3 in the other one. Why did I... Why do I remember that? Because we've literally just seen the Saga of Captain Ware Shark Volume 1. Volume 3. I don't remember seeing that because I'm thinking Captain Ware Shark? Someone make that a movie. Do it now. That sounds fucking awesome. A were shark? For one thing, that'd be fucking awesome. And him being a pirate? Uh-huh. How fucking cool is that? That is just... You have got mature rating up for these, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> they Because they, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, NPCs will curse. Yeah. That is, that is just too funny. Right, we don't need funny. to talk to her before we go in here, do we? No, it just says investigate the room. Okay. I'm I'm very happy to just walk into Iliad, Iliad Ruins and then talk to her. Whoa! What the heck? Stand back, you swab! Uh, you cannot board this vessel until you have satisfied me, the mighty Flicker! Look out, she's... Mighty Flicker? From the saga of Captain Wareshark? That I did not expect. Well, Mighty Flicka, I, you know, I, you're not really my type, but I'll satisfy you any way you want. She, why does that not surprise me that she read that book? I'm afraid I only have a cursory knowledge of the Captain Wareshark series. I find adventure stories rather shallow for a genre that professes to explore great depths. Try flipping through that book for inspiration. Or improvise. Uh, again, timing. Just as she says, try flipping through that book for inspiration. As she is saying the word inspiration, she's shaking her boobs at me. Uh-huh. Uh, what about forcing my way through? Well, that would All right, I'm reading the book again because I've, I've spoken to the her. The mighty flicker okay. there is nothing more than an illusion. The ward upon the door you'll find much stronger. So how do we break the ward? Okay, I know how to break we the ward. No, hang on. Trying to dispel or break it with force would be an undertaking, if not an impossibility. Unlocking it, however, might simply require you to play the part the guardian expects you to play. And you have the script on hand. The script? No need to be so literal, love. It makes for dull lines. The book used in the ritual at that shrine earlier, the saga of Captain Wareshark, that should give you some insight into how the Guardian expects you to respond. Convince it that we belong. Gosh, I'm going to be. I want to see what she looks like up close. Whoa, that is a very, very angry Nord woman. That's very... I'm looking at her armor and her shield and everything. Ew, I, yeah, I really wouldn't want to fight her. All right, I'll talk to her. Ha! Think you can sail with me, wee one? I fell giants like trees. I've slapped a dragon around until it got down and licked my hand. I've kicked Molag Ball in the arse once, and he begged me to do it again. <laughs> Answer me this. Why do we sail? I didn't read the book, but... <laughs> uh, to find glory in battle. To find glory in battle. Is that's my guess. That, so that sounds about right. Let's see. It's either for treasure, to find glory in battle, to, or to serve our captain... And if it probably would have been anybody but a Nord, I'd say for treasure. But I'm, you know, uh -huh. I'm thinking, find glory in battle. Let's try that. And there you have it. 
What birth is booty if it isn't earned? What is a battle if you don't cut a bloody swath through your enemies? We sail for honor, for glory! Now brace yourself, wee one. You face the Argonian next! I am Argonian. The Argonian? Reading the, I'm reading the book again. Ah. Ooh, his armor's kind of cool. Uh, hard scales. The high seas run deeper than any river, filled with the blood of enemies. A challenge awaits you, sailor. Are you prepared to give our journey your all? Or will you wilt like a mushroom in summer? Tell me, speak true. Why do we sail? Why do we sail? To see new lands, to find rare artifacts, to meet Sithis. Oh, man. Hey, Sithis. <laughs> really? Yeah. Alrighty. That wouldn't have been Well, mine. that's his intent. Okay, let's see. I erect the spine of respect. I have fought countless monsters alongside the Ware Shark, yet none has ever bested me in battle, much to my regret. One day, I hope, I will meet that which can kill me. Now, face two scars and rejoice in Sithis. Okay, this is the part that worries me is where is his spine of respect that he's erecting at me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him say that and I was thinking <laughs> for me, that's as creepy as alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very well. Think you have what it takes to join the Wear Sharks crew? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Is she a wood elf? Let's see. Galena two scars. So, okay, yeah. I'm reading again. The bear and the hard turtle. So what? I walk in yep. shadow okay. and sleep Hang in on. the trees. I drink snake venom and piss honeyed mead. I'm the baddest, sharpest, meanest pirate on the high seas. But I don't sail alone. Why? Let's see, because your crew is your family, because there's strength in numbers, because you'd have no one to talk to. If I had to guess, I would... Because they don't really think of... Well, they kind of think of themselves as a family, and they kind of don't. She could definitely be Dom's sister. Mm -hmm. I don't know... Crew is family. For crew is family. Yeah, I was torn between that one and strength in numbers. All right, so crew is your family. That's right. We're family. Every one of us, from the captain himself to the lowliest swabber of decks, is one big, happy, fierce, terrifying family. No mere crew can hold a candle to us because we're not a crew. We're blood. <laughs> Welcome aboard, kin. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Your performance could use more verve, but it seems the guardians aren't judging on enthusiasm. Let's All right. get inside. Do you want to stay here then, Alchemy? <laughs> right. Yeah. Please stay. Stay here and stretch and God, I don't know. Shake your boobs at the dragonflies. I don't care. Shake and shimmy. Yeah. Shake and shake and shimmy all you want, just as long as I don't have to see it. Oriel above. It's Annie's and all the others. They appear to be alive. Let's try waking them. I'll come over here. Who's this? Uh, who's waking first? I'm going to. I'm going to check on Sil. Oh, <laughs> darling, that's lovely. Okay. That's not creepy. I'll get Bugtail. Okay. Well, then go ahead. I want to see hear what he says. I'll try Anise. Actually, I won't. You try the other one first. I want to try Anise last, and she's 
kind of like seems like a main one. Okay. Gold, so much gold. Okay. Kind of, he's kind of dull. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try any these. Dare ye cross sabers with red anise? Ha! It's a dream. They're all dreaming. Oh man, we gotta talk to Alchemy again. I wish I could uh, take it for the team. <laughs> this is no normal sleep, but it's oddly benign for a curse. None of these people appear to be in distress. In fact, they seem to be dozing quite serenely. Some of them have been missing for weeks, yet they show no signs of poor health. Magic can do that. Uh, so they're not in any danger? Not from the spell they're under, no. Though why they were made to sleep and what our mystery stranger intends for them is still very much unknown. Can we wake them? I believe so, but I'm not entirely certain we should. Right now, the spell isn't doing any harm, but tampering with it could change that. I'd like to get a better idea how Anise and the others came under this spell before I start striking it through. What do you have in mind? Now that you've rehearsed your role, let's cast you as a pirate in her fantasy. See if you can reach Anise within her dream and get her to wake up. I can try. When you're ready, place a hand on Anise's forehead and start counting sails. Start counting sails. Okay. Alrighty. Enter her dream. Look alive! The dead have come for us! Oh, there it is. I was looking for stairs. Well, let's try talking to the mighty Flicka, because it looks like we can. Sailor, what are you doing wandering around? Get across that gangplank and take the fight to these damn Draugr. If you're worried about Captain Wareshark, don't be. I won't let a single one of those embalmed bastards past me. I need to find Anise Favrod or wherever. You mean Red Anise, the Crimson Shrike? Then you need to head to the thick of it, Sailor. As soon as Prince Valker's crew boarded us, she made straight for his throat. Last I saw, she was hounding the cadaver back onto his own ship. Where's Captain Ca Okay, where's Captain Wareshark? Below decks, of course. Searching for a way to break this cursed calm. It's Prince Valker's work. I have no doubt of that. Yet even his foul magics won't tame the crew of the Pale Spirit. The captain will find a way to put the wind back in our sails. Alright, so I guess we gotta go across. Let's see. Apparently we can't, I can't use, uh, my, uh, I can't, uh, you can't play the float them. Right. At least they're not, they're not tough. Uh-huh. Uh, are we wanting to kill lots of them, or should we head down to find her? Well, I just got... I got somebody's attention. And then I just happened to see hard scales. One of the ones we talked to to get in. Uh-huh. I just happened to see him in here, so I wanted to see if he was somebody... We need to talk to him. Sethus does not require I maintain my knives, but it does make it easier to do. your own kills, sailor. These have already been claimed. Can you tell me where Anise Favrad is? Uh, 
Crimson Shrike tore through here chasing Prince Vogger. He moves fast for one of those wither bones. Oh, you son of a... Are you causing trouble, Mary? One of them saw me. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it inter it interrupted the uh, dialogue. So let's see. I'll get back into it. Uh, there we go. The Crimson Shrike tore through here, chasing Prince Vogger. Oh, they they did see me. They saw they saw the clown here. Drove him below decks. Prince Vogger cornered in his own hole. Prince Vogger? The merciless. Whoops. Yes. I thought it. We may have upset him when we made off with his entire cache of ancient jewels and three chestfuls of gold. Yet he will rue the day he challenged the crew of the Veiled Spirit. Soon enough. Is it just me, or is the Pale Spirit kind of a dumb name for a pirate ship? Yeah. It just doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't inspire fear. Are you Kevin? In a minute. Here's a Galena Two Scars. The stalls on this ship are as bare as the arse of Reinhardt no parts. Ah, poor Reinhardt. He'd have loved to see Red Emski Prince Vogris come up in. I need to find Anise for Rod. Red Anise flew after Prince Vogger like, well, like the Shrike that she is. He ran somewhere aft once we pushed his boarding party back. She's not gonna let the prince get away. Count on that. Jeez, they actually used the word comeuppance. I love that. Uh -huh. How can you... I'm not really sure how you can loot a body in a dream, but whatever. Well, there's an Annie's, as they per give accent to the A. If you came to help, you have my thanks, but it's not needed. Looks like Prince Vogger is going down with his ship. Not that the ship is going down, I mean. It's just, you know what I mean. This is a dream, Anise. You need to wake up. What did you... No, 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 no. I'm Red Anise, the Crimson Shrike, and I'll skewer any swab who says otherwise. Trust me, none of this is real. Stow it, sailor. With Prince Vogger dead, we need to find his treasure. Check his cabin while I search the rest of the hold. This adventure isn't done until we've secured that treasure. Savvy? Savvy. <laughs> that was a nod to Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. I guess I'll look for Prince Vogger's treasure. He's guessing it's a bottle of rum. Yeah. Uh, did you say a bottle of rum or a buttload of rum? A bottle. <laughs> Either or a buttload would be good too. Yep. Yo ho ho and a buttload of rum. Outrageous. Prince Fogger's strong box. The saga of Captain Ware Shark Volume Three. <laughs> I wonder if he was holding one that was in the other spot. Well, Let's have a look. Prince Vogger's treasure was a book. Didn't know old dead eyes could read. Well, let's get it back to Captain Wareshark. Maybe it'll help break the curse. You should look at this book, Anise. Read Anise to you, Swabby. This book, this is this is about Captain Wareshark and, and Flicka and the others. I don't understand. This 
This is all a story. But where am I? Why aren't I in the book? We found you dreaming in an Aelid ruin. You're under a spell. I entered your dream to wake you. I... I remember it now. I remember it all. Damn it, Cress. You said I could finally escape and no one would come for me. They wouldn't even know I was gone. That was the deal. Deal? Did you ask for this? Cress said that they would make it so I could finally live out my dreams. I could have this life and they would take my place. I'd finally be free of Farmer's Nook, and my mom wouldn't ever need to worry about my life of piracy. That's not fair to her. You'd both be living a lie. I know. It was too perfect. I knew it was too perfect. Dreams don't last. That's why they're dreams. Just a few more moments. It was just getting good. Five more minutes. I just want to celebrate victory with the captain once before this is all over. Maybe steal a kiss before I go. That sounds creepy. As long as we, I mean, hey, let's keep this going. Please let us see Captain Wear Shark. <laughs> and no, and not in human form either. That would piss me off. <laughs> you mentioned Crest was behind this. Who is that? I, please. I can tell you about Cress when we're back in the ruin. Just leave me with the dream a little longer. Oh, come on! Are you serious? It, it tells us, like, like we're going to actually see more. And then doesn't. Are you kidding? I mean, man! What a crappy thing to do! What an absolute crappy thing to do! Alright, I'm... Oh, come on, damn it. There's got to be some way, somehow, to at least see what Captain Wear Shark looks like. Apparently not. Unless it's down here. Uh, it, it, won't, it, won't, it won't let you open it. Okay, I'm getting out of here before her memoir gets hold of me. Oh! What a tease! That's just not right! That's just not right at all. I was thinking, oh my god, we might get to see Captain Wear Shark. No! Bethesda, that was not cool. That was not cool at all. Oh god, then you make us talk to alchemy again. Oh man. You're awake. It's been a while since I've worked any magic that didn't involve flight of hand. Anise is still soundly asleep. Could you not get through to her in the dream? She wanted to enjoy the dream a little longer. She's part of Captain Wearshark's crew. So, she stepped right into the God. story that's inspired her since she was little. That explains the ritual with that book. How better to keep her under the spell than to put her in a prison she wouldn't want to escape? Insidious. It's not a prison. She made a deal with someone called Cress. You're telling me this Cress didn't take her place. They traded for it? And not just her, but everyone here. 
What does Cress have to gain from these bargains? To infiltrate the town? What could a sleepy village offer someone who can create dreams? What should we do with the dreamers? The deal they made isn't so harmless as they might have believed. You've seen how frightened the villagers are. How many more need to vanish before Cress has whatever it is they want? They won't like it. But we should wake them and end this farce. All right. Here we go. Pray that a rude awakening is the worst they have to suffer. It's ready. Wake Alice, and the curse will break. I told you to wake her. Oh well. Okay. Talk to Annie. All right. So we're awake. Dreams shattered. A life of brooms and boredom ahead. Happy now. Hmm. I need to know about Cress. Cress is different. They looked like Bugtail when they approached me, but his clothes were covered in ink and he seemed unwell. He, they confessed that they weren't who they appeared to be. But they needed my help. You didn't find that suspicious? Crest didn't look suspicious to me. Just sad. Vulnerable. They said they screwed up again. That they couldn't be who they were trying to be. Crest knew I didn't want to stay in Farmer's Nook. So they offered to take my place. Do you know why Crest wanted to t trade places? I think they were running away too. From a life they didn't want to go back to. You know how many times I tried to do that? But I could never just leave my mom behind, alone. I thought we'd all be happy this way. You think your mother would be happy with a substitute? She would not. Mother? I'm sorry. If you wanted to be rid of me so bad, you could have sent a fake who did chores. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you hear what she said, Mary? I didn't quite catch it. No. <laughs> uh, to paraphrase, she said, "If you were, if you wanted to get rid of me that badly, you could have at least sent a substitute that did chores." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, t I'm gonna talk to uh, Mal or Mal or whatever it is. Thank you for finding my girl. I'd never imagined she'd have gone to such lengths uh, to get away from here. I should have listened to her. What are you doing out here? I followed you. I was glad to see Annie's back in town. But I knew deep down that wasn't my girl, and watching her act apart made the worry in my gut so much worse. I had to see for myself. Where did you leave the imposter? Back at the Happy Crow. I told Brayden he could put whatever she liked on my tab if it kept her occupied. If you wish to find the freeloader, that's where she'll be. Thanks for the tip. Let's see. Stop. We will trust Mile to see these people safely back to town. You and I should find Cress at once. You just hold your tongue, weirdo. Alright, talking to Bugtail. <laughs> what are you talking about? This sweet room. The most delicious, moist, warm, fragrant sweet rooms to ever leave a baker's oven. But they leave them often. But they had them all. You had a dream about sweet rolls? Yes. What else? Couldn't you have gotten sweet rolls without res 
resorting to Daedric Pacts. to think that uh, this uh, stream just got a mature rating. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, I want to talk to Syl. How could you do this? How could you wake me? Cress said I would live in that dream forever. What was your dream about? It was a damn sight better than this. I had a castle, servants, suitors hanging off my every word. I had everything I ever wanted. You don't know what it's like for us growing up. We had nothing. We still have nothing. What about your brother, Hosef? Hosef? Hosef seems happy with his plow and his pigs. He's a grown man and more capable than I am at fending for himself. He doesn't need me anymore. And Cress was supposed to keep him company. We barely speak anymore as it is. Your brother thinks you're dead. He's grieving for you. Dead? Oh, Hasef, I never wanted that. I... I suppose I need to talk to him. Like we used to. He deserves that much. He'd like that. Okay, well, let's talk to Igmund. Where are we? Some kind of tomb? Where's my treasure? Last I remember, I was in my treasure room. You're under a spell. We woke you up. Wait. So this is where you... The dream is gone? My treasure's gone? Why would you do that? The deal you made with Cress was a mistake. Your brother thinks you're dead. Why would he think I'm dead? That's not what Cress promised. He said he'd just be me. He even agreed to do my chores. Was that all a bunch of hogwash? Hogwash? <laughs> no, Crest did pretend to be you. They just got drunk and fell in a bonfire. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, that's wait. what happened. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but getting drunk and falling into a bonfire is exactly what happened to Christopher Titus. <laughs> he talks about it on numerous occasions in a lot of his stand-up. He says he got he um because there's a, a one spot he says um I can't remember. He's talking about quitting drinking. He says probably because um I fell into a bonfire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, drunk and fell into a bonfire. <laughs> Heck of a way to go. Cress dead then? Damn it. I guess there's no hope making another deal. Alright, now talk to Creepy Pants. Actually, it's not the pants that are creepy. Try not to judge them too harshly for their grouchiness. We just rip them from the most pleasant slumber they've ever experienced. We should be off at once to detain Cress. I'll be right behind you. Nice was dreaming of being part of Captain Wereshark's crew. Is that why we saw pirates outside? It could be that the two spells were mingling. That's not something seen often. Or perhaps it's simply that this Cress person was also inspired by Anis's dream. Why would they choose to become a poor farm girl then? Why indeed? It's easy to guess what motivated these people to pursue their wildest dreams, but the workings of this Cress's mind are inscrutable. What would you do if you were them? Would you leap at the chance to live a perfect fantasy? Uh, people need me here. I'd never abandon the real world. That's the rub, isn't it? Dreams are selfish things. To chase them, you risk leaving things behind. Maybe everything. We all have to decide what we're willing to sacrifice in pursuit. 
Not everyone possesses your sense of obligation. These people seem devastated by being woken from their dreams. They have a look about them, one I've seen before. It's the look of a skooma addict, sick and desperate on the street, lost without their escape. Will they recover? With the help and support of those who love them, one can hope. Ultimately, it will be up to each of them to decide what's most important to them. Now we have to confront Chris. Let's get away from Creepy McCreepy face. Yes. It's more like Creepy McCreepy boobs. I just think it, I just think that it's because of her mask. I think if she wasn't wearing a mask, I don't think she'd be half as creepy. I'm looking at this guy's armor. That's kind of cool. It is cool. Ooh, Ash Watch. and a crocodile. Two crocodiles. Ooh, a crocodile, a hackwing, and a hashmota. And a partridge in a pear tree. Hmm. I would suggest taking the hackwing and the croc first. And their and their little dialogue. Yep. All right. Dialogue ended. And your turn, Biggin. Where do you think you're going? You're not an ostrich. Kill two dangerous foes. Sweet. They must have been the two Hashimoto's. <laughs> yep. Okay, another hackwing. it weird stuff just stand there with your fists up like that's really gonna work oh boy well at least it wasn't two hack wings and a crocodile yeah because that's what because that's what i thought was gonna happen yeah well, there's a lizard bear. Oh. Oh, he's scratching his back. I noticed that. Should we let him enjoy his, his back scratch and then take him out? Yeah. All right. He needs to hurry up. I, I want him I dead so I can get to the roof stone. All right, he's dead. Uh oh, uh oh! In the water. I see In it. The water. I see I it. Do. I could hear it. <laughs> I knew there was something. Another en endeavor completed. Oh, oh! I afflicted with the uh, fifteen uh, enemies with poison. Ah. Oh. Huh. Regulus Harvester. Well, why, thank you. I have been taking fiber in my diet recently. I'm trying to keep myself Regulus. Where the heck are we? Just taking the weird way around. So say it didn't even look like we were in Farmer's Nook. I had, that's why I had to look at the map. I'm like, where hey, the hell you, are we? Have you seen Anise? Oh, now we have to talk to Brayden. 
Have you seen Anise? She ran off. I knew I shouldn't have let Hesef watch her alone. Explain what happened. Niall asked me to keep the girl occupied, so I kept her mug full and listened to her go on about her pirate stories. I'm getting famished, so I asked Hesef to watch her while I made a stew. That was the last I saw her, until I heard Hesef calling. What do you have to say about it? They were playing cards when she just bolted out of her chair like a snake bitter and ran out the door. He chased her, but Hesef's not much of a runner. She said a niece was headed east, out of town. I was going to have my hide for this. It's all right. The real Anise is with her mother. They're on their way back now. Hold on. Real Anise? Who was it we've been watching this whole time? An imposter named Cress. Mail can explain. I need to catch up to them. Pursue Cress. Well, I don't know about the whole pursuing thing. Not exactly what I was doing, but okay. <laughs> Why, you no good thieving miscreant. Oh, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. What? Did 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 you get a bounty for killing him? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got a bounty for picking his pocket. <laughs> And I hear, and I hear you, no good thieving miscreant, and I get a bounty. That's why I'm like, going, that is bullshit. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't kill him. <laughs> it really would have been bad if you wouldn't have gotten a bounty for the kill. <laughs> I really would have been pissed. <laughs> What I think. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> oh. And a lizard bear. And a lizard bear. Can I hit? No, I need to be a little bit closer. There we go. And we'll go that. And that. Hey there, handsome. You look like a purse I once, you know, bought for my girlfriend. Kind of look just like that, laying on the sofa. Just kind of curled up and staring at me. The purse, not the girlfriend. Uh-huh. <laughs> what are you doing? Ooh, Lizard that... bear. Oh, I was looking at the door. Let's see. Is that a bear butt or is that a bear head? That's a bear butt. That's a bear butt. Let's see. That's ah. a head. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it just seems like I can't sneak up on anything anymore. It's because you've got alchemy. Is that who's doing it? Yeah. That's who saw me murder the townsperson. That's why I have a bounty is because of her? Yep. God damn it, alchemy! Ooh, talk to Cress. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Chest. Do you want the chest? I got the last chest. Um. Nah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'll I'll open like master and advanced chests, but anything anything less than that, I'll let you know. I'll let you do. I just like the challenge. Well, show off. <laughs> I need I need to unpack one more lock for the third of the endeavors. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Chris. You you're the one I don't know. Why are you here? I I didn't run away again, I promise. I know you're not really Anise, Chris. Excuse me? You don't even know me. I I am Anise. I can prove it. Ask me anything. We already woke up, Anise, and everyone else. Uh, uh, um, I'm her twin sister. I can't be Anise anymore. I know. Maybe I could be someone else. What about you? Can I be you? 
No crest, it's over. Enough of this charade, Cress. Off with your false face. What are you? <gasps> You're Aww. a Daedra? Is is a cute little baby Hermamora? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there something like that that we had that we could get? Or was it just my imagination? I could have sworn there was... I was looking... I was looking into the... Uh, Non-combat pets, because I thought there was... Well, not that... I I, yeah, I could have sworn that there was one that you could get. I was looking down, looking down in the ones that I have not collected. What is that? What else? Dark Horde Spider. No. Oh, huh. I could have sworn that there, there was. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh well. I'll talk to Chris. Wait! Don't hurt me. I didn't do anything. I just gave them what they wanted. Why are you trading places with the people in this town? I just want to live, like you. I'm so tired of watching. I don't want to go back. Don't make me go back. Back where? To the Unbound Library of the One Who Knows. To record what was observed. That is our purpose. To watch your lives and ink the details down. Day in, day out. Always the same. They know it too. The people here. That's why I offered an escape. Why did you keep making these deals? I kept getting it wrong. Being a person, despite all I knew, I kept making mistakes. Bad, painful mistakes I couldn't undo. So I had to try again. And again. Life is hard, but that makes it interesting. Please, let me stay. Don't send me back. I'll discuss it with my friend. Yes, please. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I won't cause any more trouble. You know what would be the perfect place for Cress? Go on. Mage's Guild. Yeah? Think about where he's from. Who he or, works or, for. Or in our non-combat pets. <laughs> yeah? But I'm just saying, for that character, yeah. the, the Mage's Guild would be perfect. Because of all all he's seen, all he's read and written and learned, yeah. his knowledge would be invaluable to them. I don't think Hermamora would like that though. Um Hermaeus Mora would probably be come after come after Cress regardless. He may know what Cress is doing already. So, I mean who knows? But let let Hopefully we can have some some kind of interesting uh, solution. Let's see. Of all the places you could have chosen, why Farmer's Nook? This is where the one who knows sent me. It is what I know. I thought I could live here and no one would treat me any differently. I could finally experience all the things I'd only observed. Friendship, love, family, mead. Mead was good. Mead was good. <laughs> Is that the cross eyes? <laughs> yeah, probably. Crash the substitute Nord. <laughs> uh, why did your master send you to watch this place? To know, as they must. Your tiny pupil suggests that is insufficient. The one who knows seeks all knowledge, and he observes so that all becomes known. We are the one's eyes, and we are multitudes. Does that mean you're not alone out here? Alone. I suppose I am. I had not considered that. I will no longer be a part of the one, but something separate. It's unsettling, but also exciting. So they were kind of like... A t all a they were all separate, but they were all attached to a hive mind. Yeah. And now he's disconnected from the hive mind. Yeah. So that's Hugh. 
from Star Trek. Or Seven of Nine. Seven of Nine, probably. Yeah, well, you know, this kind of... Well, I don't want to say no. Hugh didn't want to be separated. He was... For, yeah. It was forced. It was thrust upon him. I think that's the way it was on seven as well. I don't know. Uh, what will you do if you stay? I'll, well, I don't know what I'll do without a mortal form, but I'll think of something. It's like, dude, you don't need a mortal form. You're awesome looking just the way you are. Yeah. I mean, think. I mean, think about. It. I mean, yeah. If he was like, if you went to like, say, downtown solitude, and that went by you. Yeah, I would probably soil twice. soil my <laughs> short clothes. But I mean, if you walked into say the Mages Guild and went to the lore the lore master and went into their uh study and saw uh-huh. him floating around in there, you wouldn't think twice. You'd be like, Oh cool. What is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't just take on another form. So it doesn't have to be dreams? Correct. Terms are not important. Only the bargain matters. If I find someone willing to form a, a less troublesome pact, then maybe I could stay. Um, if you don't return, won't someone come looking for you? The one who knows watches most. The one seeks not to change, but to observe. If the one sees me here, they will know what was once unknown. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Hammer will probably be quite happy with him staying here. Yeah, because he he would just want to find he just wants to find out knowledge. This this is, it would be a new experience, a new a new avenue of gaining knowledge. Yeah. Huh. That's why I like Hammer Mora. He's he's a book nerd. Yeah. So he really he doesn't really he's he's an observer. He's not. But he's, he can be really really nasty. Yeah. What happens if we send you back? I would return to Apocrypha and resume the catalog of all things until I've exhausted my knowledge and the one who knows casts me into the world to observe again. That would not be in mortal terms for a very long time. Yeah, goodbye. You are now upstanding. No thanks to you! <laughs> Standing there all Pompous. All right, talking to alchemy. So this pitiable creature wants to escape its lot in life too. Even Daedra dared to dream. I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't feel some sympathy for its plight. What do you mean? When a hopeful becomes a player in the House of Reveries, they cast off their old identity and assume their new role completely. Such a serious commitment attracts only those who most desire an escape from their prior circumstances. I'm no different. All I can say is, please don't let Crest join these weirdos. You want to be lenient on them? Misguided as Crest was, I don't believe they acted in malice. There aren't many stories of compassionate Daedra, but it seems at least some of them might be true. The question is, does this little Daedra story have to end in tragedy? You have an alternative? It may fly in the face of common sense, but I think Chris might have the makings of a fine player. I knew it. They're a bit unrefined, but taking on a new role seems Andre to come natural, to Chris again. and they'll never forget their lives. I could sponsor them to the house. God, don't do that to that poor little Daedra. <laughs> The Daedra don't deserve that kind of punishment. They, they, it, it, poor Crest really mm. doesn't. Yeah, let's see what what options we have. Making a deal with Daedra rarely leads to anything good. We need to send Crest back to Oblivion. That sounds like a perfect yep. fit for them. They should join your troop. God, that just. I'd rather not. <laughs> let me talk to Crest some more before we come to a decision. I'm going to select that one. <laughs> I think we've already talked as much I've as we can. I've got to try. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like oh my god, Chris. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm really sorry, Chris. <laughs> which is which is the worst fight? <laughs> oh, it's like working retail or working fast food. God. Oh, chest is back and it's intermediate. Do what to who now? Oh. The chest is back and it's intermediate. Um, oh. I need one more lockpick. Go for it. I actually did that quicker than the simple one. Oh, you're kidding me, my inventory's full. What can I get rid of? Okay. It's like, actually, oh. there is another option for Chris. No, I can't do it. No. No. <laughs> at, at least if we it, at least if we send Cress off with alchemy, they have a chance to escape. True. <laughs> I, just don't, I honestly feel bad for him. I, I would I want to give Cress a third option. Yeah. I want to give Cress the option of coming with us. Right. Cress should be a third companion option. Right. Cause that would be awesome. Yeah, it would. Even if he was, I mean, you know, keep him as non non combat. Yeah. You know, or give him, or give him as kind of like a, a combat pet, but um, just make him like a support. You know, where he may uh, I, boost your. I, I think we should your, petition uh, petition Bethesda uh, Bethesda please give us yeah. a third option that is uh, actually kind yeah for Chris <laughs> something you know like we now have would you get your ass out of the way sir <laughs> monster That's thing I remember him from earlier in the stream um, but yeah, I mean, where he could either be, either like, you know, he would disappear, but we would get a pet as a reward. Uh-huh. Um, and he could either be like a non-combat pet, or if it, if there was a way you could make him kind of like a combat pet, but just support, but something minor. So it doesn't, you don't have to worry about like breaking the game or anything like that. Like, um, uh -huh. what is it? It's not your... You're like, say, heal recovery or something like that. Increases your heal recovery um, by, like, like 100 for, like, 10 seconds or 20 seconds or something like that, you know? Uh-huh. And it's only out... You get, do it so it's out of combat. That, you know, it only does it out of combat, you know? Something simple, you know, because... I mean, he, yeah, he's Daedra, but even he doesn't deserve to be... Saddle with that crazy critter. But, alright, I hate to do it to him. Has speaking with Cress convinced I'm you going to listen to it on your stream because you were talking I over Okay. Because I'd already done it. By the moment, but I'll admit I can be a hopeless romantic at times. What do you think we should do with Cress? I think we should give Cress a good life, not give him to you, you psychopath. <sighs> That sounds like a perfect fit for him. They, uh, they should join your troop. I thought so, and my eye for talent is one of the best among the players. By the time Cress presents themselves before the Grand Maestro, I will have transformed them into a master thespian. I'll stake my reputation on it. I have no doubt. All's well that ends well, as they say. This certainly wasn't the direction I okay, expected. Okay, so I'm going to be listen, to take, listening to but it. A good after you always keeps on the stream. You okay. You were a grand co-star. If we ever adapt Investigate Avail for the stage, I'll be sure to call. Mm. Don't call me, I'll call you. 
All right, Cress. I have a deal for you. You do? Does this mean I can stay? No, not in Farmer's Nook, anyway. Oh, does it mean I don't have to go back to the library? Yes, and you will get to live a great many incredible lives. I can? What do you need me to do? Watch and learn. You're going to be my apprentice. Now, let's get you a mask. I'm just going to see how far they go. Probably won't be too far at all. Now, if you're going to be a proper hopeful, I'm going to need you to take a form similar to one of my players. Can you do that? Oh, yes. With your help, that'll be easy. How is it? You'll have no difficulty with brisk scene changes, certainly. Now, for a name that speaks to your soul, what about Dreamer? Dreamer? I like that very much. I'm really surprised they haven't vanished. Oh no. Thank you, Mary. Oh, come on. I'm wanting to try to see what Dreamer's face looks like. Because that's going to be something that not many people are going to be able to ever see. Well. Well, they hit the spot where they vanished. But that was cool. I mean... I mean, I feel better now because of the way Psycho explained it. Uh -huh. I do feel a little bit better. And yeah. following them was actually a really good idea. Normally stuff like that vanishes right away. Yeah. But yeah, we got to see well Cress be, you know, take on a new life as Dreamer. Got to see Dream. Well, it yeah. you know, it wasn't the best that, in the that world. Was a good I, I couldn't get the uh, mask in the uh, camera as well as I would have liked, but we did get to see the color at least. Uh -huh. it, it was kind of that. I don't know what kind of. What would you call that? Kind of a magenta color almost? Uh, I didn't see it. Oh, okay. You'll, you'll have to see it in the stream. But it was kind of a pinkish purple. How long do you want me to stream for? Um, well, how about another, say, 15 minutes? Yes, you know the little plan I had? Which? Picking up Mimi. Oh, right, right, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, we were doing that, we were going to do that with these two, huh? Uh-huh. Well, right. it is, um, it is, um, Black Rock. Best, True. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, I was going to say, let me take my level, but is this going to be a safe place to do that? Because I just heard something roar. Um. Yeah, I heard something roar as well. I think it might my, be up on on the rock. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take my level. Just. I'll watch <clears> her back. All right. I appreciate it. Kind of more watching your tail, actually, but <laughs> I'll wiggle it now and then just to keep your interest. Okay, I've got two points now. Let's see. Well, hmm. Trying to figure out what to use anything on. Um, let me see. Sif siphoning, I think that's. Wait, was I going? What was is was this what I wanted to do? No, I was. That's right. I was think I was wanting to get Soul Shred as my yeah. uh, ultimate. 
So let's see, what is Catalyst? After drinking a potion, you gain 10 ultimate. I don't use potions that often. Um, that's not worth the use. Uh, no, I definitely don't want to do that. So what level is... What do I need? What do I need? Uh, oh, I just need uh, needed to hit uh, 12. And it's almost halfway there. So I'll save one for Soul, sh for, uh, soul Shred. So that, that takes care of that little problem. Um, shadow. Let's see. Do, what's Refreshing Shadow? Increases your health, stamina, and magic recovery by 7%. Well, that would be nice. Um, yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll save the other one for when I get um, siphoning to 12, which is Swallow Soul. Okay, so I just got to remember I need to use my uh, right button attack a lot more. Okay, um, so yeah, we were going to start one of the uh, companion quests, so that way we yep. could earn a, a companion that would fight with us. We're going swimming. I'm Argonian. Swimming is what I do. Or should I say, I mean, I'm Argonian. Swimming is what I do. There's a bug duck. <laughs> that took just a moment <laughs> it's like I got within range and he had red on there and it's just like there was that awkward pause like oh shit there's a crocodile and the crocodile's like oh shit there's an Argonian <laughs> and then there was <laughs> then there was the doom <laughs> kind of like I don't want to look I'm going to see you that's okay, I don't care. I was just hitting it. The plant. Yeah, I was just hitting it using that one uh, that one spell. Uh -huh. That I was wanting to to work on. Oh, Nern root. You want the Nern root? Uh, no, you go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna get the water though. I was just kind of thinking that thing was called Nern root, so it's named after. It's named after the uh, planet. Yeah, it's named after the planet. Do we have... We don't have anything called Earthroot, do we? And if we, uh, and if we did, that would be just kind of like... I would feel sorry for that. Because it's like... You've named all these other plants with all these really, really fancy things. And then you just kind of like gave up at the end. And it's like, eh, let's just call it Earthroot. If we find one more, we just call it some ugly looking thing we fucking pulled out of the ground at the last minute. Ah! That person used way too much damn starch in their laundry. Didn't they just? <laughs> yeah! Like running into a wall! <laughs> Deathstroke increased to rank three. Yay! Well, did you see something? Oh. What 
wonder where we got an iron battle axe from. Oh, blessed Coffee. thistle. Need blessed oh. thistle? Yeah, yes, I do. The only reason why I knew it was there is because the words blessed thistle and collect popped up on my screen. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known it. Because, like I said, I don't have a keen eye in anything yet. Mostly because <laughs> the main reason, which I don't know if you're going to think of this as a uh, compliment or an insult, but the main reason why I haven't put keen eye into anything on on him is because I know you're there, and usually you see it before I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, take that as you will. <laughs> I'm hoping there are no slow fish. I guess we'll find out. I'm also hoping there's no guards at the other side of here, because I still have uh, still have a bounty. I'm not kill on sight anymore. Mm -hmm. I think we can make land just north of there, actually. Falling back a little because Argonian's got that swim speed boost. And I'm not entirely I sure where an, we're headed. I see an emony. You see an emony? see an emony. Where do you see an emony? A I wisp? I see a wisp, mother. And where a wisp. Do you, I see a wisp? Where do you see the wisp, mother? There. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even looking over there. I'm just going to hit her with this until I run out of magicka. Well, that took care of that problem. She had a great sword. That makes sense. He had no loot for me. Which is probably a good thing I've, I've not got any room. Can I loot that? Nope. Ooh, oh, that... hello. What, 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 what? Oh, a goblin berserker. Now a goblin dead. Uh, uh, plants. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. I was going to tell you there's a flower. Oh, shoot. Yeah, golly. Guy tries to give a girl flowers. <laughs> she gripes. Nah, 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 nah. If you come up here, you get the abbey discovered. Oh, sweet. Okay. okay. So yeah, see, now I see what it is. Get... You try to give the girl flowers, she's not happy. You try to give her a whole freaking abbey, and she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mary? Yes? Oh. Yeah, the jute and stuff, I'm not so good at spotting. Wonder why? Do you have keen? Did you put keen eye onto anything? I, I, no, I don't have keen eye. Keen eye on anything. I'm just naturally keen eyed. Uh, except when things are yellow, is um, yellow is a, is part of the spectrum I don't pick up terribly well. Oops, wrong button. I don't want to use my normal attacks. Whoops. I know you didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and watch. The time you mean to do that, you're going to hit it wrong. Here's uh, Wormwood. Or whatever it is for you. Yeah, Wormwood. That won't change because that is an actual herb. The, the ones that are for tailoring specifically, those are the ones that change. Ah. Uh. Minotaur Shaman? Sure. And uh, his back is to us at the moment. I'm not going to sneak him. Well, okay. I'm going to hit him with uh, 
this life drain thing. I was walking towards him because I was out of <laughs> Magicka. And I was going to get in, get myself into melee range. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Oh, see gosh. how close am I? I I'm going to um, throw a, an experience scroll on. Oh! So I, I, I need a battery spice. Okay. Um, that's under slottable items, I do believe. Which one are you going to use? Uh... 50% uh, two hours, I think it was. Okay. I had a bound and an unbound one. Right. I'm also just uh, destroying some junk in there as well. Alright, I'll throw a scroll on too. So I've not actually been able to pick stuff up for quite a while. I norm. I, I mean, the bigger experience scrolls, uh, well, I mean, it's up to you when you use them. But I usually save those big ones for when um, we're getting to the higher levels. Yeah. Because otherwise it just Ooh. takes... What? Two Minotaurs. Really? Two minotaur. Shaman and a Minotaur. I thought you were going to say a Minotaur and a Major Tor. <laughs> um, do you want to go for the Minotaur or I'll go for the Shaman? I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll just... Hit him with everything I got. And he hit me with everything he had. Got a healing circle down by me if you need it. <laughs> so, yeah, just emptied. Stuff probably worth more than four gold from my inventory, and I'd get four gold. Yeah. What you do? Um. Good. Head west. Okay. I was gonna say, look, you, one second you were there, and I, I turned around, North and you were west gone. Ish. Yeah, I see. I see the crown now. There's another spot with Minotaurs in here as well. Okay. And imps. And it's not where we need to be. We want to avoid it, because oh. I know we've got um, a delve sort of spot to go through for Miri. Sneak, yeah. sneak, 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 past the Minotaurs. I mean, we can, I mean, granted it's 11 o'clock now, but we can keep going because um, I'm on bereavement leave. Yeah. And um, I'm not going to work. To, well, I didn't go to work uh, last night, and I'm not going to go to work tomorrow night. But then I have to go to work uh Monday night. Yeah. You, you well, I, I mean, I can if I want to uh to use uh PTO to cover that, but then I'll I'll get a point for it. Ooh, what is that? Uh I think it's one of those portal thingies. Oh, uh, right, right, a right. Moral conjurer there. Is there? Yeah. Oh my god, Dramora Squirrel! Oh, wait. 
got fighters guild uh, XP for that. Mm -hmm. Deadlands. One of these days, we got to go in there. Start today. Oh, Cass. I think it's that spot over there. Doom Vault Vulpinaz. There is a way shrine nearby if you want to pick that up before we go and uh, find Mary. There is? Yeah, it's down this way. Uh, I was going to say, that's the Doom Vault. <laughs> Because it's actually shaped a lot like a way shrine. No, it's uh, this way. Yeah, I just looked at the map. Because I was like, seeing the, the symbol I saw on there was for the Doom Vault. And I'm thinking, that's not... Ooh. There's a uh, quest giver. Adventures wanted for exciting opportunity. Yeah. I think that might be Miri. I'll I'll know when we get there. All right. But the, uh, picking up the way shrine first. Lift with your legs. Show off. Your fake animal is following you. Uh, no, that's not the Marie one, I don't think. Ooh, ooh, it is. Adventures wanted for exciting opportunity. Shattered and scattered, that's the one we want. Uh, oh. So. Well, since you're, like, uber excited, do you want to just read that short little oh, paper? Oh, freaking heck, I've, uh... I mean, you don't have to. I... Is, it, is it up on your uh, screen? Yeah. Uh-oh. Should be. Well, it looks like, uh, Twitch is... Yeah, I can, I can see it on your screen. Adventurers wanted for exciting opportunity. Brave souls sought to explore a newly uncovered ruin. Once in a lifetime opportunity for glory and gold. Inquire with Zagira about the expedition. Written in another hand. Please turn page. I did. Thank you. Yep. Big job. Seems less than legal, but the gold's real. Meet north of Fort Redmayne. Bring friends. See you soon, little brother. Signed, Miri. Yeah, my uh, Twitch stream is frozen. Uh, it's not mine. It is on my tablet. I'm just... Let's see. I want to just look it's, at my... It's okay on my desktop. I just want to look at OBS real fast mm -hmm. and see. No, it's fine. It's green, yep. sitting at 6,200, mm -hmm. so it's just my tablet, I guess. Yeah. Well, because it, 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 bo it bothers me. I'll just see if I can't just close it. There, I just closed it. All right, let's see. Um, all right. Found the ruin. Talk to now it's Mary Alendis. Mary. <laughs> Pitiful squeak. I thought it could have been one of the Daedra squirrels. Yeah. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them Daedra squirrels. <laughs> I'll help you mount a suicidal rescue mission. Then you can observe me kicking every fetching cultist ass standing between me and my little I like brother. the sound of Mary. This guy's got the, uh... 
that uh, fire, you know, that em what I what I call that one character, Ember the Heart. Ember, Ember. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to Mary. How are you? Another of these useless Leowin layabouts? Must know you're an adventurer like me. Don't tell me Zigira roped you into this mess too. No, what's the trouble? My little brother and I answered a job posting seeking adventurers to help explore a newly discovered ruin. Only once the expedition got underway and we were all split up, our employers turned on us. I barely got away. What's your plan now? Free my little brother and the others before something terrible befalls them. I don't know if I can do this on my own, but I have to try. Can I count on your help? Well, were all the questions just morbid curiosity? I can pay if I have to. I'll help you with your rescue. There were five, in addition to me, who got duped into this. My brother, Liam, Eolof, a Nord warrior, Adia, a high elf researcher, Dejos, an Argonian scout, and Galor, a wood elf adventurer. Other than my brother, I don't know a lot about them. Uh, what do you know about the ones who tried to take you captive? Not much. Zagira, the woman who hired us, was charming. I didn't buy a story that her expedition was for study, but she paid half our fee up front. I figured they were just treasure hunters looking for plunder. We had no idea they were a cult. Uh, when did you realize? About the time they said, don't kill her, we need her for the ritual while trying to <laughs> wrestle me to the ground. <laughs> they saved my life, though. I fought twice as hard knowing they were taking it easy on me. No one else escaped that I know of. <laughs> I love it. I love it sometimes when that that's, you know, you ask them, when did you know such and such? And they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, when did you when did you know you were in trouble? Oh, I don't know. Probably when those three dragons entered the room and all the doors shut behind me. It was probably <laughs> right around. It's like, <laughs> I always love it when they say that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like, oh, about the time they said, don't kill her, we need her for the ritual. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a pretty good guess. <laughs> just, just just, when I got in the room, the wizard cast fireball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. We didn't get far with our expedition before things went sour, but the ruin was in pretty bad shape. You'll need a grapple bow to get anywhere quickly. Fortunately, I have a spare. They're simple enough to use if you've never tried one. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. All right, but remember, you already agreed to help me. It'd be rude to back out now. But seriously, I need your help. Please don't change your mind. Tell me about this ruin. It's Daedric in origin. Our employer claimed it was recently uncovered, but I have a hard time believing no one noticed it until now. And despite its condition, it doesn't seem that old. Barely any overgrowth at all. None of it makes any sense. You're saying this is a new construction? A hundred years old at most. I couldn't tell you who built it or how it came to be demolished, though. I didn't get much time to study it before those fetching cultists tried to throw a sack over my head and drag me off. Uh, how do I use the grapple bow you gave me? Just line up your sights with a suitable anchor point, release the bolt, and get ready to fly. Don't worry, they're pretty much designed to do all the work. The worst you'll have to worry about is underestimating the pull and spraining your neck. Let's see. I guess that's it. Let me just check. I have other questions. All right. But nope. remember, you already agreed to help me. It'd be rude to back out now. But All right. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm uh, talking to the Brigadine. Br Brigadine! What is that? Andrisius? Andrisius. I won't stand in the way if you wish to help her get her off my back at the least what seems to be the trouble to hear the dark elf tell it some cult lured her and her ilk to an otherworldly ruin to sacrifice them in some unholy ritual there's no evidence of that so most likely it's a falling out between adventuring parties vying for claim of the ruin are you here to resolve the feud I'm here to keep watch on this newly discovered ruin. The Ivory Brigade has more important things to do than mediate disputes between vagabonds. 
despite what the Dark Elf might think. If it were up to her, the entire Chamber of Legates would be here. Well. Oh, that was perfectly synced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was say, what is that over there? It's a aminal. It's an antelope. It. Um. I think I'll be all right with the, without the clan fair. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Let's see. I'm going to throw on a uh, just a boost, food boost. Oh, I just realised I'm going to have no room for loot. One sec. Let's see. Um, um, but... It's fifty-one ninety-six. Yeah, let's do this Close one. That if you want anything. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I I'm my uh Oh there he is. Trade with Khajiit <laughs> Trade with Khajiit <laughs> Boy that was almost too high. Let's see what I can get rid of. Because I think I have a lot of stuff that I would need a uh what's it? A fence. Yeah. I've got um quite a few for a fence. Let's see. Ooh, a recipe that I can use. check on some of this armor. Let's see. Yeah. Leave him out. I gotta check I gotta check on my check on some of the armor I have to make sure I have what's best on so I can sell what I, well, what's left. Okay, that's the belt of Baja, ba, what was it? Baraha? Baraha's Curse? So or ba, Bahara? Bahara, ra, ha, ra, ha, ra, ha, ra, ha, ra. Yeah. Um, well, I have two pieces on already, so yeah, I'll keep that on, even though it's a stamina piece, just because I'll I'll get an, uh, another bonus. So let's see, hands. What about hands? Well, that's the other piece. Okay. Um, okay. So that was that. That's a good call. So let's left feet. Uh. Well, I'll keep that piece. Swap it for that. And that should knock me up to to that magicka. Mm. I'd lose the health, but not well, not that much. Yeah, let's try that. That gave me some more magicka. All right, let's try that. Unburden your pack at a reasonable rate of trade. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to try to go into You're a store. Right. Is missing feathers? Not yet. I just went back in there. Whoops. Okay. I don't... Okay, let's go back to Okay, so sell that. Anything else? Oh, 
All right, you can go ahead and dismiss him. I've got one recipe. Let's see. Do you need to bank her? Uh, it would. Well, it wouldn't hurt actually. I forgot you have a banker. <clears throat> ah. Have need of a zabi? This one is here to serve. That was a little bit creepy. Have need of a zabi? This one is here to serve. It's like, um, no. <laughs> Let's see, what am I going to drop in here? See how many of these experience scrolls I can toss in there, or research. Okay, um... Die stamps? Furnishings? Okay, those are character bound. Um, we'll put those in there for now. That should do it. Ah, I was hoping I'd have the foresight to throw some soul gems in here. Why, how many do you have? Um, I don't have any empty. Oh, and you I were looking... I have ten filled. Oh, okay. So it's, it's okay in that sense. Yeah. That was a... Uh, you still need a Zabi? No, no. Because I thought you were, like, out, out of filled soul gems, and I was going to see if I had any. I'm going in. This looks cool for a place called Doom Vault. Yeah. We need to reach the base camp, but be careful. I saw a lot more cultists during my escape than the ones who led me here. Well, let's. Oof. I'd, I'd be seeing all these runes going, you know what? On second thought, <laughs> I heard someone talking. Yep. There's a walking flame pyromancer just begging to be stabbed in the back. But I have uh -oh. a right slit. <laughs> Bookshelves. That's weird. They're not uh, uh, the same on both sides either. So we've got six. Works for me. Little bastard! <laughs> I don't know why I get the biggest kick bookshelf. out of that. <laughs> Wait, what? You killed a bookshelf? <laughs> no, I killed someone to get to the bookshelf. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, what? Was there like a rogue bookshelf somewhere and you had to kill it? I just realized there's bookshelves on the other side as well. But yeah, I get a charge out of that <laughs> sound they make sometimes when you when you <laughs> slice them in the throat or stab them in the throat, whichever it is. I don't know why I find it so funny. So where? Wait, where? Oh, can't stab that one in the back. 
Why? Because he doesn't have a back? He sat down with his back to the wall. Where did you kill that one? The, the one I killed? Yeah, that you said there's a here. bookshelf. Oh, okay, okay, I see now. I see the glow. I wasn't, I wasn't at the right angle. Maple Restoration Staff of Frost. Ooh. Oh, they've seen me. Crud. Ow! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, we could go either way, so we may as well just go around, I'm guessing. You're the one that looked up all, all this stuff for us, so... I haven't, I haven't really looked at the run-through, because the, the, the video of the guy, he's just running through, pulling everything together and just blasting them. High-level uh, sorcerer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when there's like a, a like these, and I know I can't I can't get to them to use Blade of Woe, I'm gonna just go ahead and just spam that that one uh, spell. Yep. Oh that look, your head's on fire! Oh wait, that was your. Oh sorry. There was an imp around here somewhere. I mean that scamp. Yep. I think I, I think I gave that one a headache before it died. It kind of looked that way. I guess that's what happens when you take a bolt of lightning to the head. I'm just going to say yes. Um, there's a couple of, of um, the waking flame dudes over here. One of them will move away, so we should have an opportunity to uh, assassinate one. Nope. Really? There was somebody in a little cubby. So I got spotted somehow. I got spotted by this one. I've lost track of what we've uh, checked and what we haven't. Yeah, this I recognize that book. Where's what lore? Where in 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 here? This this one had a lore book. Oh yeah, okay. So that other one was just a duplicate book because I recognized it. <clears throat> Let's see if I can open my channel or my stream back up and see how it's doing in Twitch. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, ooh, there's the outside. Sunlight, precious. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> sunlight, precious. very long. <laughs> nope. I don't think I'd be able to talk like that for very long before I would lose my voice. <laughs> Did you just aggro something? Just keep spamming that spell. Am I getting close yet? Getting there. Siphoning's getting there. Just ah! Checking, uh, the other side to make sure there was nothing that 
Trixie oh, Halpin oh. says. I thought those were stairs and it was a wall. <laughs> I'm like, I just got those stairs. It's like, dummy. And uh, that should be it for that round, so we can move towards uh, the next section. But I need to uh, step away for a sec. All right. I will be back. Okie dokie. Let's wait right here for you. Set my controller down. <laughs> oh, we all have to take steps away sometimes. Well, the stream has been going three and a half hours. So let me check and see what this is. Fat fingers. What do you think, folks? Pretty fun so far, huh? <laughs> I know you're, you're probably thinking I've lost my mind because it's only been a little over a day since I've, you know, lost my dad. And I could be so cheery. Well, like I said, I've got my turp pen, you know, for uh, wax for cannabis wax. That helps. It helps kind of... I don't want to say mellow me out. That's not the right word. Even me out, I guess. Relax me. So I don't... You know, don't overthink about it or whatever. But... I mean... This is... This is my therapy. You know... This is what I used as therapy for years. I mean, you have a bad day at work. Okay, you just, I am you know, back. Yeah, welcome back. I was just talking. Uh, just, just talking. I was going to say that video games is like my therapy. Now I'd have a bad day at work, and I would go home, play a video, a violent video game, so I could kill things. Grapple yep. point, huh? That's not our sky. Yeah, I, I like, like this mechanism it gets. We should hurry. The bridge is out. But that support looks sturdy enough for the grapple bow. Now, they, this is, what was it that they said they they had a problem with with the gra uh, grappling gun? Oh, that you um, that you have to be careful the about the strength because you don't want so you don't hurt your hurt your neck. Uh huh. It's like. Uh, like I was going to say, it's like, uh, what about stopping? That's why there's a big post there. You just slam right into it. Yeah. So we have to talk to... Where is Mary? What the heck? Uh, where are you? I'm right behind you. Oh, okay. Well, you're no, you know what we're doing and where we're going, so why don't you lead? Um, you are now. <laughs> that is the problem. What? I think that dude ahead of us maybe messed it up for us a little bit. Oh, no. No, we, can, we should be able to talk to Miri. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Talk to Miri. Yep. Is what? Is she supposed to be, like, right, right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we just have to wait for her to return. Okay. Um, 
wander backwards and forwards till she turns up with you. Oh, I thought there was going to be another one. I thought uh, not the one that was following no, she's, us. She's following us. Yeah, I've had her following me the whole time. She's I... got a quest marker over her head yet. She's got just an arrow, but it's probably yeah. probably it. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Okay. That's Yolov. One of the other adventurers Zagira duped with a setup. They've got him strung up like a new life pony gua. Service stones my ashy ass. That's a sacrifice if I've ever seen one. We've got to do something. Survey stone. Zagira had us escorting her scholars around the area to place those so-called survey stones. Supposedly, they would get the layout of this place in an instant. Bunch of guadung, clearly. It's sucking the life out of him. Can we destroy it? I damn well plan to try. It'll be dangerous, though. For Eolov, most of all. That ritual is already feeding off of him somehow. The sudden shock of destroying the stone might kill him. We could try weakening the ritual before ending it entirely. How do we do that? That array by Yolov seems to be the heart of the ritual, but the magic is being drawn to another focal point nearby. Destroying that might lighten the load on Yolov and the backlash of ending the ritual by force. It's the best chance of saving him. All right. Understood. Let's go. We need to stop that ritual. The sooner the better, but Yolov's chances of surviving go up exponentially if we try picking it apart carefully instead of smashing the central ray right at the start. The grapple boat should help us search around. How do you know all of this? I don't know it. I'm making an educated guess. Daedrology is my main field of study, though I tend to avoid getting caught up in their worship and rituals. Mostly, I'm fascinated why anyone would join these fetching cults in the first place. <laughs> why study Daedra if you don't really care for them? I took an interest in the anticipations of the Tribunal and my ancestors' worship of them before the three rose to godhood. Dark Elves aren't the only ones who revere Daedra alongside the Vines, but now's not the time for philosophical discussion. All right, so destroy. We got either just destroy the soul siphon array or we destroy the ritual focal crystal. I use the grapple hook. Rituals weakened. Okay, so how are we supposed to get down there? Just jump? Okay, looks that way. Okay, we could have come down the easy way. Let you get that one. Yeah, yeah. Viola, follow me quickly. You don't have to tell me twice. See, optional talk to Eolov. So that's we're gonna talk to him then. Oh, thanks, thanks mightily for getting me out of there. I, I don't know how much longer I could have lasted. What was it they were doing to you? <sighs> Trying to pitch me into Orki's gnarled teeth, or Dagon's rather. Felt like all the air was sucked out of my lungs. Would have killed me if you hadn't come along. Or is it always this hot in here? Do you know why they were trying to sacrifice you? I'm just hired muscle. I don't meddle with magic. They... they were talking, though. About positioning the other stones. They sent each of us as an escort. Split us up. If they got the better of me, I'm sure the others are in just as much trouble now. Will you be all right? I haven't felt this bad since I nearly drowned in the sea of ghosts. But I can feel my strength coming back. I... I think I'll be good enough to move once I've got my breath. I'll be fine. Help the others while there's still time. All right, now I'll talk to... Mary. It worked! Sorry if that sounds too much like surprise, but I couldn't be sure if that would be enough to save Eolov's life until we tried it. If the cult is doing this to the others, we should be able to free them too, if we're careful. 
Any idea what, what it was they were doing to Eolof? It was definitely a Daedric ritual, but not your typical sacrifice. Offerings to the princes are usually quick and brutal. This was much more purposeful. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish, but they were using Eolof's soul to power it. Do you know where the others were taken? The Swiss didn't tell us much of their plans before stabbing us in the back, but I've got a rough idea where they were taking the other stones. If we head out the other side of these corridors, we should be on the right path. Let's keep moving then. Do we want to? Sneak, 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 sneak. There's one on the chair. Down there. Oh, yeah. I just want to... Let's see what happens. How close I can get. See what happens. Okay. Gee, he died. That's what happened. Amazing. Your, your little pet always makes me think there's a lore book over here or where they're standing. <laughs> We can actually see the ring. Look at that. Don't even get the loot. Bugs aren't loot. Not until you fold them into pieces. <laughs> well, go get, get find a torch bug, pull it to pieces, go and stick them in the pockets of those two people we just killed, and then come back and tell me, and then I'll go loot them. Uh. Fine. Be that way. I killed a Nixad too. It deserved it. It certainly did. It's amazing how much uh, damage that life, that siphoning uh, does. It does, does quite a lot. What are you doing? There's, there's strange light there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he 
He's like, I dodged it. I dodged it. You didn't dodge it that time, you little bastard. But have you noticed that? That, that sometimes they'll they'll dodge a light attack and yeah. then, then you'll hear them kind of almost like mock you? I mean, it's kind of a nice touch. Examine the notebook. Let's see. Is there something you want to you want to read, Mary? If so, you like. Yeah, go for it. Exploration of the shattered ruin. Zagira has paid as well to escort her surveyors through this unusual ruin. Truth be told, I might have come along for free if I'd known what we'd find here. The Daedric designs are like nothing I've ever seen, but disturbingly familiar. They are expansive as well, far more so than they first appeared. I feel like we haven't travelled that far, but the landscapes within the compound seem incongruous to what I observed from outside the entrance. I should probably draw a few maps along with my notes. I knew I should have mapped as I went. Zagira's surveyors turned on me as soon as they got me away from the rest of our group. I tripped and my cloak tore free, so I bolted. I just need to write down where I go. Process of elimination. Left. Left. Out the door. Across the chasm. Completely turned around. I hear them coming. No time. Talk to Mary. I'll be. Ardy actually made a break for it. She's the last one I'd have expected to escape. Who left feet that one? Much as I'd like to believe she made it out, somehow I doubt it. You think she was caught? Honestly, I'm impressed she made it this far, but my gut tells me she's still here. I, I think we should keep looking for the rest of those sacrificial stones. Whoever's still bound up in the cult's rituals is in the greatest danger. Understood. It's getting to the point that I hardly recognize this place. It's like the sky is on fire and everything's scorched. Did the cult come here just to destroy this place? Oh, that hardly makes any sense, but Daedra Warship too often doesn't. Maybe the destruction isn't the point. It's possible this is all just a side effect of the ritual, not its intent. Who knows? Maybe their magic isn't just feeding on the souls of those they've captured, but everything here. All the more reason to stop them quickly. All right. Lava, and look, those trees are shifting so drastic here. Right through me. <laughs> Guess they didn't mention that in the safety video. When using a grapple point, please make sure that the person in front of you has cleared the point. And to those of you that go first, once you've made it across to the point, Get the hell out of the way! Daedros on the bridge. Daedros on the bridge! Yay! Daedros! You missed us, tall, dark, and ugly! Okay, sorry. Dang! He just disappeared into fat air, didn't he? Yep. Anything good? Flower. And bitter green. And methylilla something. Methylene. 
yeah, Mythic win. I was trying to sneak up on that one. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Rather than going straight for the Daedros. Ah! It's not what I meant to do. Okay, so... Whee. Wait, is that another person? Yep. Whoa, who do you see? Oh, that dangerous coming, dangerous coming right at us. I'm going to try and uh, blade away the humanoid. Okay. But the dangerous is in the way. Up the moment. <clears throat> well, we can wait, because I know if, if we uh, attack the Daedroth, the other one's just going to see. Uh-oh. Looks like they caught Arya after all. We need to free her. Why the heck did my heel come all the way over here? <laughs> I don't know. Give me a second. Um, there we go. Soul Shred. I want to try that out. There we go. I just got my um, siphoning to 12. And so I was it. So I used that the point that I saved. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess going inside is next. Uh, no, nope, we're going to use the grapple points uh, to get to the foci, I think. Oh, okay. Before we destroy it, I want to give it a look, see how they're being held. Huh. She looks fine! You want to destroy that one? Come on. Yeah. Watch your step. Right. See? Uh, she was fine! Look! After I, I'm just a little unsteady. See? She was fine! She got down and ran her little ass off! You? Well, depends on how much life it sucked out of her. So I'm gonna talk to Ardia. Normally, I love new experiences. It's why I got into exploring. Not that one. Never, ever again. We found your journal. Oh, I thought I'd never see that again. Thank you. I have a great deal to add to it now. I think it's good to record all you can, good and bad. It forces you to think about what you've seen and done. It makes you more mindful of how events shape you. Did you learn something that we might find helpful? Zigira was yelling at her followers about jeopardizing the foothold when I was trying to escape. I don't quite get what she meant, but I think they're turning this place into their stronghold. And I saw Zigira when they caught me. The real Zigira. What do you mean, the real Zigira? Among her followers, she dropped the mask she'd been wearing. She's a Daedra. 
These cultists are the usual misguided fools dabbling with things they don't really understand. They're true believers. I'll never forget how they howled for her adulation. Okay, so talk to Miri. It looks like Adia will be alright. Hopefully she can make a successful escape this time. How many more of these rituals do you think there are? I can't be certain, but Dijo, Skalor, and my little brother Liam are still missing. We have to assume they've been captured and bound like the other two. We need to stop these rituals, and not just for their sakes. What do you mean? I have a theory about the purpose of these rituals. The changes to the land, the sky, the blasted heat. I think this place is being overtaken by another plane. If I had to guess, I'd say it's becoming a dead land. How is that possible? I think this ruin isn't actually part of Nern. More like a piece of our world bottled up, and the cult is trying to steal the bottle from another source. All the more reason to stop these rituals. I was trying to wrap my head around all that, and my mind went, nope. But the way this place looks, especially these windows, and as crazy as it sounds, it looks like it sh this should either be a castle or a spaceship run by space insects. Uh -huh. That's what it makes me think of. I don't know why. I know just the designs in the windows. I know it's supposed to be Daedric. But it just reminds me of looks insectoid to me. Is that Garlo over here? Garlo? Oh, fetching Beck. Oh, we can try. We can try. Oh, it says we can examine him. Let's see. His eyes are vacant. He's oblivious to the world. Lucky bastard. He looks good too. He looks like he might become soul shriven. Kinda does, huh? So talk to Mary again. He's gone. Soul shriven. I've read accounts of this happening, but I've never seen it myself. Nice call. This ravaged body is all that's left of Galor. His soul gone somewhere far worse. This is what will happen to the others. To my little brother. Only if we fail. Right. You're right. This isn't the time to lose it. There's still hope for the others. Galor couldn't have wandered far like this. There must be another ritual site nearby. Let's go. So that was a very nice call. Calling him soul shriven. Yep. That's, that's exactly what he is. It's funny that I wouldn't have uh, actually thought of it as Soul Shriven. At least not as yet. Even then, after talking to him, I wouldn't have thought that because I've never actually... I don't remember actually interacting with any Soul Shriven um, save Cadwell. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing that always cracked me up about these things. 
you look at the post after you've made it to the other side and you just see like significant damage to the post. It's like, how often do they have to replace those damn things? Try to sneak up on this one. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. Sometimes they'll, um, they'll get a, a health bar over their head. Sometimes it'll be yellow. Sometimes it'll be red. I'm not sure what the difference is. Keep messing, Neary, and I'll make you watch your brother waste away. That helped. Still something drawing power from the ritual. Let's keep looking. Uh, how can I get over to that other one? Yeah. I think that's all of them. Now, the array. I'll let you uh, break that one. You're free. Come on. You came back for me. He disappeared. I noticed that. I was just going to say that, too. Talk to Dejos. Where is Dejos? Oh, right there. Thanks to you, there will be something left for the Hist when my time finally comes. But I did not expect the Dark Elf to stick her neck out for me. Why not? Dark Elves have not been kind to my egg kin, and I have not been kind to theirs in turn. I see I judged her too harshly. I should apologize to her and her brother if he still lives. He was taken prisoner by Zagira, personally. Do you know where she took him? To the heart of the vault, she said. Further down this path. Where it leads, I cannot say. I don't even recognize this place anymore. I only know it dries my scales worse than Ebon Heart. All right, now to talk to Mary. We managed to save her. I don't know if that'll improve her opinion of me. Well, my kind. But I'm glad. I wouldn't wish what happened to poor Galor on anyone. We've accounted for everyone but your brother. Liam. Hang in there, little brother. We'll find you. We seem to be getting close to the heart of the cult's plot. Other than the ruins, the terrain here is unrecognizable from where we came from. I'd wager that's where we'll find him. And Zagira. You want to go after her too? No, I don't care about that hooded viper. I just want my little brother back. But if she stands in our way, I'll gladly kick her fetching ass back to oblivion. Come on, Liam needs me. <laughs> well, let's go find Liam. I wonder why sometimes it's red and sometimes it's yellow. Um, because I'm not sure, but I think she actually kind of saw me just as I was flinging the dagger in her back. Oh no, the last one was red too. Did your attack, did you throw the knife or did you actually do a uh, melee? I threw the knife in both cases. Okay, um, I did. 
I didn't that see that. One and the previous one. That that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe a difference is maybe because you did one as uh, ranged and one as melee. I don't know. I'll wait till. Possibly so. Right. Let's have a look out on the terrain. Uh, the floor is lava in a lot of places. See a grapple point and a dangerous heading that way. Boy, for someone who really can't see us, he's already pissy. <laughs> and he just uh, there's a flame flame astronaut to his left as well. Mm -hmm. I say we go after him. Secure us! Give Liam back, and maybe I won't fetch and kill you! Oh, hang on. Mary might want to talk to us. Manipulate oh. Daedric's switches. I was trying to. I was trying to find Zagira. Which might have something to do with it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna talk to Miri. Um, yeah, that's a that's a, a hint. So yeah, I'll talk to Miri too. That switch locked us out. We aren't getting that gate open by force, but I bet that mechanism plays some part in getting it open. Any thoughts on what to do? I think that mechanism must be connected to the gate, but that can't be the only thing stopping us. Or Zagira wouldn't be so confident. We should look around. There might be more of these Daedric objects involved in the barrier. Okay, well, I will pull. Okay, by not even touching it. I used the force. Let's see if I can get up to this one. No, right, so we're gonna need to find a way around to the Grapple point. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I can't use the grapple point. There we go. I'll let you flip that switch if you want. Okay, Two. so the other one is... Uh, Towards the other side. I'm trying to. Whoa. Uh, the one on the left just just moved in. So she might be able to be taken out with the blade of war. But we've got one sat and one stood at the fire. Yeah, so I'll move. I'll try to go after the moving one. Once she gets once she heads back. Yep. And I'll actually do a go back to stealth kills because I got the ultimate that I wanted. Sweet. And I'm going to try it on the boss. Okay, so let's see. Do you want to get that switch whilst I take the three, these two out? No? Oh, okay. Well, actually, I'll wait since it's the last. I'll help since it's the last switch. Sometimes they, you know, quests can do weird things. <laughs> they leveled me up. <laughs> well, that wasn't exactly where I was going. See? Now we know why she just wanted me to go flip the switch and, and let leave hey, you her. Would, to you would have got the XP as well. Would you just let me, in, you know, give you a hard time to, to everybody? <laughs> let me get away with it? Jeez. Radishes and rice, ick. 
It's like, yeah, I know we share the experience points because we're in a group. But, you know, ruin my fun. Jeez. <laughs> I think that did it! The gate's unsealed! Let's find Liam. Wait, is that Liam? Where'd he go? I saw him! I... Liam, is that you? Speak to me! Liam! No! Liam! Stop throwing fireballs! Liam! It, it's me! Um, I... Liam! Hmm. Liam's dead. We're going home. I don't know why the hell you were following me, Mary. They're like, well, I just want to back towards the doorway. If you think yeah. a little lava is going to stop me, you've got another thing coming. Guess you were thinking that, well, I wanted to see where this psychosis was going to lead. This focal point is finished, but it wasn't the only one by the look of it. Oh, so we're doing what? We're going after the other focal points, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought we were going right straight to, uh, to fighter. It stopped feeding on their soul. Let's do the same to the rest. No, that wasn't a, a grapple point on it. It's that one up there. Mary, I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, we're not going off to Segura, apparently. Um, the hell we're not! There's a boss there for a reason. There's no way they would stick her in there if we weren't meant to fight her. Um, Spregensie Deutsch? Parlez vous Francais. She's dead, Jim. Yeah, that was oh. freaking worth it. Six gold and a white homespun glove. Can I kick her into the lava? I only got the six gold. Mm. Uh, uh, I think that was the. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> that was a sh that was was a a shocker. Nothing like pointing one way and having the grapple go behind you and jerk <laughs> you that way. And it's like I, I it's like I I need a new grappling uh, gun. Why? Because it's back there at the last place with my arm. <laughs> Just rip that bitch clean off. <laughs> You can inform your worthless legates that we stopped the cultists. No thanks to you. Just be grateful your little dispute didn't land you afoul of the law. Cease your meddlesome trespassing while you're ahead and get a real job. He's gonna mouth off like that around all of us. Uh -huh. Dang, does he carry his balls in a bucket? He's a brave little sucker. All right, well, I'm going to talk to Mary. We did it! My little brother is safe, and that backstabbing viper Sagira's plans are in shambles. Oh, I almost wish I could see what Dagon does to her for her failure. But my imagination's probably better than his anyway. What next? We leave this useless wit to his report and count to Zora's lucky stars. My little brother is alive and well, thanks to you. That's more than I could ask. We owe you. If you ever need anything, and I mean anything, you can count on me. I should get word that we're safe to our parents as soon as possible. Completed, shattered and scattered. I hope to see you again soon. And Liam, straight to Leowin, you hear? First companion collectible. And thank your friends here. 
mother. You've unlocked your first companion collectible to summon your new ally and no idea. But, let's see. Companions. Where? Well, let's go to notifications. It'll send it to me. Companions is... Well, just under something, but... Okay, he waves at him. Let's see. The inquisitive adventurer Mary Elendis might just unravel the deepest. Why is it doing that? Oh, it's because it's it's not that long. Uh, might just unravel the deepest secrets of the dark elves, provided she can fend off her family's latest blunders. Call this companion to your side and uncover Tamriel's greatest mysteries together. And then it's obtained by completing quests, shattered and scattered. Also, okay, it's under collections, and there's, yeah, there's allies. Nice. Um, we have one each. Yeah. And I can talk, I can talk to mine. That's weird. Can uh, you... you appear to be talking to mine. Well, let me... <laughs> No, th that one's mine. <laughs> okay. Okay, I want to see what she has to say. Change of plans? Let's talk ab <laughs> Let's talk about us. Well, <laughs> already? Dang, I barely know her, but all right. Let's talk about us. What would you like to talk about? Uh, oh, wow. This is tell me something about yourself, or how do you feel about our relationship? That's I'm going to go into that later, because that's a little strange. Hope we find something interesting today. Let's see. Companion menu. What do we got here? Treasure chest found throughout... Oh, through... Wait. Treasure chest found through treasure maps and in the Overland have a 30% chance to provide additional loot from hidden compartments. Uh? Oh, look at that. You have a, a rapport with your companion. Yeah. Well... Nice. So that's that's what the whole thing was our our relationship and stuff. Okay, I, that I don't feel so bad now. Then the equipment and skills. Let's see. What shows what her equipment is. So I guess in a way this is good, and then in, this, in a way this is going to be a pain in the ass. Because we will have to keep in mind we need... Equip them and trade them. And, ooh. Yeah. This, this should, should be able to tell which is, which Miri's mine. <laughs> well, I, I would like to check... Let's see. Let me look at mine again. Here, I'm going to move over here. Let's see. I want to look at her outfit again. Something you need to discuss? Actually, probably... There you go. Have a light source. <laughs> uh, so, probably... Yeah, that's probably just a, like a default. So, if I change... Yeah. Have you seen mine? No. Come on, come on, look at mine. Where are you at? Oh, you put that outfit on yours? Yeah. Sweet. I wish it was daytime so I could actually, you know, be able... To, I know you can do that, but that's gonna gonna wear off, and it, plus it's not real. Problem, Sarah. Let's see, companion menu. Let's see. Um, how did you put a uh, a uh, out a costume on her? Uh. It's a really, really good question. Um, Let me go back to... How do I get back to the companion menu? Okay, hang on. Let's see. Um... Not what I was thinking. No. Hmm. 
something you need to discuss? Okay, yeah. Uh, click as if talking to them. Yeah. And you get companion menu as an option. Yeah. And then you can go to equipment, you can go to skills, and you can go to collectibles. Yeah, but collectibles that... allows you to put costume on. Okay. Thank you. And set a mount for them. Let's see. Because she is an archer. How do you set a, set a mount? Ah, oh, there it is. Um, yep. Let's see, what do I want to give her to use? See how she would look in shrouded. Not bad. I think I, I think I'll go back to what what I put her in Evelie's outfit. Uh -huh. I'll just I'll just color it later. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well. Um, <laughs> it took, that was, took a while, but I mean, we got our first companion, folks. Oh, and I need to cl claim my level. Let me go ahead and do that. Get that now. Okay, so what do we have now? Because I, I got, I'm not planning on getting, um, any more abilities in siphoning? I just just doing it just so I can get soul shred. Um, ooh, I got I can get another in passive ass assassin. Yeah, master assassin and passive abilities. Let me just see. Let me see. Nothing there. All right. It was, let's see, increases physical and spell penetration. And then it increases the duration of my stun from sneak by 100%. Yay! Oh, I wonder, can we rename them? Oh, maybe that might be something they might let us do later on. Just because the only reason why I asked, because on if you <clears throat> on my screen, I see it says, you know, it says my gamer tag and then it says, you know, Mary. And then un under that is your name. Companion. Yep. Companion. I, I, I see reverse. OK, so but I think this this would be a good good place as any to end the stream, don't you think? Been running, yeah, we've been running. We've been running all. Um, I'm just sorting out mounts at the moment. Can you still? Uh, yeah, hmm? you still there. Yes. Yeah. Just... I've cha changed your outfit a bit. Oh, yeah. And would you like to see how how we are mounting? Um, I'm going to come up the road a bit so it's Am I going to need to hide? See. Am I going to need to hide my eyes? No, no, no. Mm. 
Hmm. Facing the opposite way. That's actually not a bad idea for that. Let's see. Let's see how that would look. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the camp so that way we know where we're at. And we're going to end the stream here because, like I said, we've been running, like, you might as well say four and a half hours. Yep. Longest stream to date. But, as long as um, ready, GM. Right. Right. Well, all right. Well, that's gonna do it. Let's see if there's anything I need to check on. Oh, well, a... you just turned away as I waved. Oh, give me a second. I'll, okay. I'll hop back in there. I was just trying to. I was, uh, getting rid of the extra, exclamation marks on my, in my uh menu. Uh-huh. Alright, wave away. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I let's see. If I was gonna Yeah, see I wouldn't know what how to do oh yeah I would have to go like this. But wait, I don't I don't know how I would do go into it. That I'm not uh, worried about. Just take a look in your settings. Well, I know there's a way of, e of easily uh, making it so that way I can interact with my with the mouse on there, mm -hmm. but I'm just I'm not gonna do it now, right now. I'll think about it later. So, anyways, so we're gonna get myself logged off here. This has been quite a good stream. I mean, it wasn't as action packed as they normally are, but. I mean, we got quite a bit accomplished, and we got ourselves a companion. So, and that's a permanent... The quest line's completed. Yeah. That's, that's not too bad. Yeah, we have a permanent companion that's going to be... Well, we don't have to use him if we don't want to. If we want to run it solo, so to speak, we can. Yeah. Um, if we were to go into a, a four-man section with two other players the companions are automatically unsummoned hmm. but we can use them as replacements right now that we've got these um companions with us now should be the time we should go back to vardenfell and do that one uh dungeon where i couldn't take the two bosses or we can do the um companion quest line on, on morgan and raven and do that um, true. Yeah, because it was it was on them, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on Raven. Yeah, yeah. we could we could do that. I mean, we still ha we st uh, still have time. But, anyways, that's gonna do it for for today, folks. So, hope you had a good time. It was a nice long one. And thank oh, you for joining us. Yes, definitely, definitely, and thank you, Mary, for being here as always. That's pleasure uh, and um so that's gonna do it until well until wednesday <laughs> and it'll just be the regular stream so i hope you'll join me for that folks and uh anyways that's gonna do it so uh thanks again guys um hope you have a great day and i'll see you all later so take care everyone love you take care bye-bye <laughs>